You know, it actually kind of syncs up with the music, too. A little bit, man. <clears throat> I'm, <clears throat> I'm into <throat> it. Don't get lost. Don't get lost in Laura, man. Don't do it. I will do whatever you say, Laura Croft. Must obey Master. the Croft lady. Master. Croft and cheese. What's up, you beautiful, beautiful freaks? We're getting ready Croft, for another... Croft um, dinner. Dude, it is what's for dinner. Uh, we just finished Pre Free Super Shows live. I'm thinks um, all the people, except for Katana and Foxy, who are still in the Creep Shows. They fell asleep. <laughs> They're not paying attention. They did. Everybody always <laughs> popped over, man. <laughs> Dude, what's going on? We're getting ready for another show. We're going to be sticking to the clock tonight. Um, we got a replacement, Pedro. We don't have all the bugs worked out. But... Hi. It's, it's, <laughs> it's running a Chinese motherboard, so... It is. We're a little worried. It's got an M.2 slot on it, and, like, that was... It's, ups it's upside down. Yeah. <laughs> it's upside down. So we... It's a bit of a... It's a bit of a crapshoot. In all fairness, the other Pedro was a Chinese product, but th this one's, like, more of a budget Chinese we'll product. This Everything one definitely has Everything is a Chinese product, let's be honest. <laughs> I, I, I don't know. It depends on whether or not you consider Taiwan a part of China. Not touching that. Um, yeah. yeah, no. <laughs> Let's not, you know, get into politics. The first episode, I'm back. Hi, 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 G. <laughs> oh, bother. <laughs> oh, bother. <laughs> What's up, you sexy beast? Uh, we do have quite a big show. So the holidays are over, and uh, the gaming and industry is like, hey, yeah, we're doing that thing again. Because we had CES, right? That was... Yep. Uh, Yes, Last week. a lot of technology, uh, a lot of uh, Ryzen 4000s for laptops, but uh, no word on the Ryzen 4000s for desktops yet. A lot of people <laughs> watching um, Dr. Sue, she was out there, and they were down to like, you knew it was over. And they're like, here it comes, they're gonna announce. And I was like, they're not. It... But, oh, Pedro, what are your thoughts on this, like the rumored the things that is like shown up twice now in benchmarks, the um, 2080 Ti killer? Eh? <sighs> Und undisclosed if, AMD engineering sample. Right. If it performs like it shows on the benchmarks and it has a TDP of less than 280 <laughs> watts. Hi, AMD. How you doing? Um, that'll be good. Dude, See, that, what, that'll be what, 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 what nice. I'm looking for is support in Mesa in the kernel at least like not four months after release. Within the first year? Yeah. <laughs> but the... I mean, you could just, you know, compile the kernel yourself and install a newer version than your distro offers, but... What if... What <laughs> It'll if be they're going to be rolling out, like, that um, dual slot with the extra slot in the back? What, what if it's genuinely whatever that monstrosity is that's in the Mac Pro, but, you know, regular consumer PC without anything fancy on it? It's like, it, yeah, it takes... Think to a 1x8 and 1x16 clunk. It's like a module. I, they couldn't sell that for the regular PC crowd. <laughs> you well, it, it, underestimate <laughs> people. Um, <laughs> they couldn't. <laughs> also, I want to say props. Props, man. Um, the Hyper 212. Hi, Jill. <laughs> the Hyper 212. They made V2 of it. They've given up. Mm -hmm. They're like, okay, fine. Fine. You're not going to buy anything but a Hyper 212. Here's V2 with a better mounting. All right. Yeah, th it doesn't have the stupid little X anymore that you have to hold in place while you screw it in. I'm just saying, man. It's good you realize <laughs> that. You, this is what, you, you nailed it on the first all those years ago because, like, if you have an, I have a 212 on a 1700. It's great. It works just fine. That's going to be uh, a, a hand damage. Like this was your grandfather's watch. I, 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 I straight up, I straight up have two of them. They're great. Yeah. Yep. They just work. <laughs> It's like you're gonna give off, and, like, and and they were and they are twenty five bucks, like right. <laughs> There's a really but, good uh, competitor now, the uh, Arctic thirty four, mm -hmm. which is also one hundred and twenty mils. It has four heat pipes. It's basically the same thing. I have that running on El Cheapo. Very quiet. Mm. Very quiet indeed. <laughs> I finally redid all the. Um, am I the only person? I'm no, I'm not the only. Uh, do you do seasonal fan profiles? No, that requires way more effort than I'm willing to put forward. It is a lot of effort. If it annoys me, if I can hear the fans going off, maybe <laughs> I'll go into the BIOS and say, you curve like this now. <laughs> Real fans have curves. Um, 
Which leads to another thing, because in order to set them on Giant Box, uh, I had to get like to the BIOS, because otherwise just a headless box. Do you have like a headless kit, which used to just be a keyboard, a spare keyboard, but now with UEFI, you're not navigate. You can attempt to navigate that with a keyboard, and you'll get angry in about two minutes. Like, oh yeah, where's if, the if mouse? You, if, if you could memorize the path of like tab left, left, right, down, mm. down, down, up, up, down, tab, tab, tab. left, right, left, right, B A space select. So maybe, <laughs> maybe it, it is over preparedness, but for me, I mean, it's something I have now um, from the past couple of years. Is like my headless kit, which is a keyboard with a gerbil on it wrapped together where I know where it's at if I have to get in. If I have to get into my um, router downstairs, same thing. Like I said, I'm the only one that does that. Jordan has no comment. <laughs> I, I, I got, I got, I've, I've downsized. I got two machines now. Both of mm. them are hooked up to monitors. Hmm. Fancy. Well, I mean, the TV and that. Well, to be fair, this monitor has all of its inputs currently occupied, both of the HDMI's and the DisplayPort. The DisplayPort goes to this box, the HDMI 2 goes to uh, El Cheapo, okay. and the regular HDMI goes to the PS4. <laughs> so, so you got the double stuff going, or the mm -hmm. triple stuff. Yeah. <laughs> oh, do you want a fun game? Here's one. Cause okay. I also needed a monitor to plug into Jackbox, and I was like, oh yes, H. DMI. Good fucking luck when you have three fucking video capture devices plus a video <laughs> card and you're looking for the open HDMI and they all have open HDMI ports. It's like, ah, oh, that's, no, it's not that. How? Oh, because you, you're doing it by feel? Yeah. I, I didn't want to cut the lights on and stuff in there. I was like, get yeah, oh, fine. I had to cut the lights on and like, get down and like, look. It's like, but they're all so HDMI outs. <laughs> ins and outs. <laughs> Like, no, I mean, I have four, each of the intensities have two, then the other yeah. capture has one, so that's five. <laughs> <laughs> They're all directly under the video card. I finally just worked my way up. <laughs> yeah, the first time I tried this uh, intensity, um, it was like, okay, so there's two HDMI ports. They're not labeled. Let's plug it in. Oh, I guess it's not working. Wait a second, plug it to the other one. Oh, that works. Uh -huh. Then I actually looked up the manual. Oh, that one's out. Okay. <laughs> that one's out. Then he was like, I'm going to label that one. None of my shit's like <laughs> No. I just know that it's the far one. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, would think, you would think this would carry on between generations. You would be wrong. <laughs> <laughs> no, on this one, it's the far one. It's the one that's next to the not DVI connector that it has mm -hmm. for the breakout cable. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, man. I, that, some, something just popped in my head. It's that uh, Varus quote from season eight of Game of, Thr Game of Thrones. Whenever they make a back black magic card, a coin is flipped. Heads ends the close one. Tails the far is the far one is the out, and the world holds its <laughs> breath. It's a thing, man. I'm trying to simple my life. Simple my life, yes, with a five <laughs> somewhere <laughs> in there. I'm gonna simple my life. I I I. I do, I do that sometimes too when like there's a song in the background and my brain's like no it's the next lyric of the song no that's not what I wanted to say <laughs> that's not what I wanted to say at all on the added it does have the added benefit of people leaving you alone on the bus though right yeah <laughs> you're like nope mayo syrup I mean Heinz hasn't released that yet <laughs> Give him time. May Maple you know syrup. What? You know what, Atomic Turbo Pancake? I'd like to think that we've grown as a Discord oh. community because I remember the first time I dropped Turbo Brad into Discord, everyone immediately started hammering on the 18 plus and SFW stuff just to see, which I'd already disabled. <laughs> Show, search instead for Mayopal syrup. Okay. May the one? Mayopal syrup. Mayopal syrup? The, the, I want opals I in that then. Like well, extra crunch like, berries. It, it, Wait, it, it, the, it's, it's the like, Vauxhall? Like, no, it's it's like maple syrup, but mixed with mayo. And okay, as it turns out, as it turns out, according to Google, Google thinks I'm searching for crunch. <laughs> part car, part condiment. <laughs> it's the mopal. I mean, it's just mayo without sugar, right? Mm -hmm. 
I'm sure. I mean, if you're brave enough. Serpus. <laughs> Sir, that's not. Uh, Dude, I will, I, I, will, I, will, I will straight up drink maple syrup. That's why I can't have it anymore. I did that with vinegar. <laughs> Apparently, that's actually good for a GI tract. Gonna like, outlive uh, both of you fuckers somehow. It's gonna be questionable. But... Red wine, uh, red wine vinegar, is so tasty. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Apparently, like a tablespoon of apple cider vinegar. You know today the is... crunch, the crunch I bought, hundred percent. Then right next to the crunch was the barbecue, <laughs> like mayo. And I was like, All right, mayo it, cue, yeah. Something. I was like, All right. Now th this is this is like one of my signals that like no we are living in a sim simulation this is just here to make these like ah <laughs> yeah, that wouldn't actually ever exist but there it was I could not believe my very eyes <laughs> all both of them I'm 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 waiting for Dave's insane A's Barbanese. <laughs> Like Mayo and Dave's Man, insanity. if I get some Barbanese, it better have like Sean Connery in a jockstrap holding some guns on the front of it. Barbanese sounds like some sort of poison I inject you in the neck with to like take you out. I don't know. <laughs> or some really angry barbed wire. It causes really fast acting cholesterol. <laughs> All right. I gotta get a drink. Then uh, Mayo Chop. See, this is that. That's the condiments for lazy people. <laughs> yeah, Mayo Chup's been around a while. It had different names. It was called See, a French fry. No, 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 no. It was called a French fry. That's what it was. That's how you made Mayo Chup. <laughs> Uh, see, ba yeah. back, back, in, back in my day, you had to double fist your mayo squeezer and your ketchup squeezer. You kids have it easy now. You get it all in one fucking bottle. Dude, there was it, a I mean, tube, unless you're in looked... Holland, you try to put some ketchup on a fry in Holland, somebody's going to punch you. Well, they just assume you're high. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Joke's on them, man. <laughs> that's, that's, that's my secret, Holland. I'm always high. But yeah, uh, in Portugal there was this tube that looked like toothpaste, uh, that had like a hybrid uh, ketchup, mayo, and mustard. And and, and you it, brushed teeth with it. It was actually striped like toothpaste. You'd have the red stripe, the yellow stripe, and the white stripe. It's like you shouldn't be eating this. <laughs> you really shouldn't be eating this. <laughs> Yeah, salt and vinegar chips are very, very good. Very, very good. <laughs> yeah, I'd eat my toothpaste at that point. <laughs> I really like mayo. However, um, there's a... I think it's the Nando's hot sauce. It's a lie. It's not hot at all, but it's a peri-peri uh, marinade. And... the Taste is really good, but yeah, it, it, it just straight up lies. It, it, it's not hot, period. <laughs> you know, I'd eat mayo Pringles. <laughs> I'd eat mayo Pringles anytime, Linux Nero. <laughs> Greg's over Nando's. I ate at Greg's once, and I was hungry by the time I finished, and I paid the same that I would have paid in, like, Burger King. So it's like, now nah, I'm good. Ooh, speaking of Burger King, one of the things I tried in Portugal was the um, Impossible Whopper, which they call the Rebel Whopper in, um, in Portugal. I don't know why, but they do. It's not bad. The patty itself tastes nothing like meat. Don't buy into the BS. Uh, but it's not a bad burger. It, it, it is a completely passable Whopper. But yeah, it tastes nothing like an actual burger. Yeah, it's fake meat and it's absolutely fine. But it tastes nothing like, you know, beef. It, it's more like chicken as in it doesn't taste like anything <laughs> it tastes like the uh, frozen uh, microwave Salisbury steaks because <laughs> they taste like nothing either 
This is, of course, opposed to the non-frozen microwave. Man, <laughs> anything's microwavable once. Yes. <laughs> I keep thinking, my, because the microwave I have right now would be, it, it's way too big. Mm-hmm. For like one little cup of tea that I put in it. <laughs> but it, it would be awesome for smelting. But it won't die. Oh, does it have the grill at the top? No, no, it's just big. Big. All right. <laughs> like I genuinely, if they made a microwave that big, that, that'd work. How, how big? <laughs> yeah, big? Mug size. Yeah, mug size. Oh, just, just like, <laughs> a, like you fill it and then you hit a button and then you have like hot water for your tea or your coffee or whatever i thought about getting one of those installed those are expensive like a hot water bypass mm. yeah but mm. pizza can be microwaved twice why would you microwave <laughs> pizza cold pizza yeah <laughs> thank thank you it's yes the next day cold pizza is good two days over a uh, cold pizza not so good <laughs> so so here, here here's the trick yes it is but if you need it to be warm if you're one of those people Stick it in the toaster, like toaster oven. If you have one of those, or just stick it in the actual oven. Three fifty, <laughs> throw it in there for like no. two, five minutes. Take three, <laughs> push, <laughs> shove it in the toaster. Press just down. shove, yeah, just cram that large pizza inside your two sliced bread toaster. If, 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 if it will fit, if it, if it's not no. fitting right away, just apply more effort. You know, here's the thing: outside outside of Canada, they do tend to cut pizza in slices, so they're more toaster friendly. It is quite the challenge in Canada where they, they do not cut pizzas. I don't, yeah, they didn't I don't think I've the rolly cutter. I don't think I've ever been to a pizza place that has a slice of pizza that's small enough to actually fit in one of those bread slots, like fully. You can maybe do like a corner at a time. Well, like... pizzas over here are pretty tidy by American standards, so there's that. <laughs> that's true. That's true. What you what y'all what y'all call a large is like a medium at best. Yeah. <laughs> It's yeah, expensive. no, and the family-sized ones, it's like the American large. <laughs> Turns out, according to Europe, I'm a family. You are a family. I am a family. I can take down a large to beat it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I yeah, remember in university, it's, there it's was not hard. one time... I was watching something and I ordered a family size pizza because it was like 50% off that day. And I ordered it and I was eating while I was watching it and then I reached again for the box. It's like, oh crap. <laughs> See, I, I can do that the without the surprise. <laughs> yes. any, and listen, any pizza is a personal pizza if you believe in yourself. That's right. <clears throat> All right. What the um, fuck is this pizza cocky nonsense that Mira is posting? Yeah, no, that is pizza cocky, absolutely. Pretty much. <laughs> oh man, that's that's a show title. We are going to get to it. Oh, <gasps> yeah. Got your punctuation wrong, Alan. Oh, I guess I... <laughs> there we go. Bam, 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 bam. Oh, wow. All right, I just got that. <laughs> Welcome back to the next Gamecast Weekly, the show where this shit happens. <laughs> So is that ice cream or mayonnaise? Yes. Yes. <laughs> you you can get mayonnaise ice cream. Welcome back to Linux Gamecast Weekly, where all your mayonnaise dreams come true. <laughs> <laughs> Mine did. Sure. Mine well, let's did. open with that. <laughs> News, reviews, how tos, and most importantly, <laughs> whatever the hell else we come up with. <laughs> I'm Ben Stone, and yeah. All right, you don't want to see. I, I'm, I'm Mayo Man. That's Mayo Man. Uh, back like scoliosis. <laughs> Apparently, I'm uh, <laughs> Mayo and, and you're, Man. No, you're Mayo French Trump. boy, my loyal sidekick. Uh, <laughs> uh, 
Our, and together with you watching us live, our Mayo Minions. <laughs> helping us for Mayonians? Monions? Yes, um, the Mayonians. Uh, how do we work that into Voltron, though? Um, you, you don't. You it's don't. the Mayonian Voltron. Voltron. <laughs> Co cocaine Voltron fights the Mayonians. Oh. <laughs> for great justice. <laughs> for great justice. It's still a better love story than Stargate the Animated Series. which Stargate yeah. Infinity, man. Dude. <laughs> it's real. Oh. So, what's going on in each other's lives? <laughs> We're off to a great start we this are, week, man. aren't we? We've nailed it. Hey, if you haven't noticed, we got a new Pedro. Hello. <laughs> uh, pardon my English. I've been speaking Portuguese for two weeks. Uh, so, uh, <laughs> yeah, on my side, uh, the uh, ThinkBud X240. Awesome little laptop. You can even play some uh, Elder Scrolls Online via Proton uh, on Linux, which is awesome at 720p low. But yeah, I used that while I was in Portugal the whole time. And awesome little laptop. You can get it for pretty cheap on eBay these days. Very nice. That's, that's terrifying, man. Why, why would you do that? It's the Mayo. It's gone <laughs> I mean, to his brain. Honestly, I was a bit distracted because I'm like, can Mayo crouch? It it can if you believe in it. Oh, always got to believe in the... Um, so, uh, <laughs> what have you been doing that's not mayonnaise related up in Canada this week? Well, unfortunately, I've just been co coding myself in mayonnaise day in and day out, so I can't answer that question. Oh, man. <laughs> it's, it, 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 we're getting a bit of a polar vortex up here, actually. Really? Uh, yeah. Um, it's been like minus 15, minus 12-ish mm -hmm. in Toronto for the past couple of days, and now apparently it got warm enough where it can snow. So we're we're getting dumped on a little bit. I kind of had the reverse of that. Like two days ago, I had the wind. I mean, it was twenty. Twenty. <laughs> my my heart breaks for you, dude. Um, I mean, in Portugal, it was twenty the whole time. So there's that. That's <laughs> Portugal, man. It's either twenty or it's yeah. on fire. Sometimes it's a mix of both, man. Sometimes it's underwater. I did a couple of things, man. I've up uh, retooled, reweighted, and transmogrified the search engine on the web zone because I was trying to find something on our own website and I couldn't find it. And I was like, this needs to be fixed. We need to re-index and wait some, some and now everything works. Good on that. Cool. Also, I got to uh, hang out with a uh, youth pastor in my house today. <laughs> As yeah, if, if, this guy's that's if, an internet tech. If you want to hear more about that, you should check out the pre pre super shows and only ooh, accessible to Patreon. Ooh, ooh, look ooh, at ooh. that. Bam. Plugs. Damn. Plugs. Oh, I should also mention right at the beginning. We're doing audio versions of the live and uncut. So you'll be able to uh put that in your podcatcher and listen to nice. the audio only. Yeah, this week's probably not a great one to start because there's a lot that was a very image heavy pre pre super shows. Just just a little bit, man. Uh there you was know a lot what? of JPEGs. Do you know what? No. Um Jordan, we had lots well, of horses in that. <laughs> It's the fun police. They're coming to arrest the horse. He's committed some horrible, horrible <laughs> crime. Crimes. It's the Steam Blitz. Not today. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Spin a minute. We're back. Yeah, it's 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 not it's not the fun police. It's just the Android police. Show mm. link link to the stuffs in our show notes. Yeah. So apparently they they got they got themselves a bit of an exclusive. Uh, Google is working to bring Steam to Chrome OS. Yay? Question Yay, mark? Yay? Question mark? <laughs> I mean, so, I mean, the, the, the first thing that might come to your brain is, hey, they're going to be uh, doing something stream-based because Valve has put invested a lot of uh, time and effort into their streaming technology, as has Google with Stadia. Um but we 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 don't know because you know some some of the some of those Chromebooks, a lot of them have some weak sauce CPUs, but some of them are surprisingly decent for what they are. Okay. Um. What 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 really what really uh, what really got me thinking is like local storage is the big bottleneck here, right? Like there's not a lot of yeah. storage on those Chromebooks. Well, I, why would I? I no, and it's all EMMC. <laughs> right, like the, at, at the at most they cap out at about 128 gigs for the higher end ones. I mean, yeah. it, it could it could be a something of a push. We might be seeing some Chromebooks that are like the gamer Chromebooks that are that have some more beefier local storage, more of like an Chrome OS hybrid cloud PC experience. But that doesn't really seem to be Google's mo. But here, here here's something I want to run by you because if mm. you if you if you put on your tinfoil, oh no, this, this is this is Google prematurely acknowledging the death of Stadia. <laughs> they can't sell games on their own service so I, they're gonna bring steam to their os so they can sell games and take cut 
Hey, shut up. It's still in beta. You don't know what you're talking about. C, internet, I did the thing you were about to do. Um, B, you can't kill something that's not alive. <laughs> How can you kill that, which has, which no, has life. no life? right? Yeah, 100% on that. Uh, I, I'm kind of with you, man. I, I think it doesn't end well. And I say that because I saw this and I was like, okay, fair enough. To the Amazons. And I was like, how much is a Chromebook? And I tipped in, give me a Chromebook. And Amazon's like, boom, all like the first three rows were priced where you would expect a Chromebook to be in really like that two, three hundred dollar range. And I'm like, yeah, that's, mm. that's what I expect. And I was like, what's under the bonnet of a Chromebook in that range? And I went through a couple of them. Uh, like on average, it's like a Celeron N3060 and about four gigajoules of RAM. Yep. Good luck with that, Pedro. Yeah, that's what mine has. And I've been the one shouting and it's like, yes, I want to play Steam games on my Chromebook. I do. I really do. I don't know why. I, I have a problem in my brain, but that's that. Uh, the uh, I can see Google actually making a bit of an effort to create sort of a desktop variant Chrome box, even if it's like Nook sized. Uh, but with a good enough processor, it would even be an all right streaming box if you just want to stream games from your main machine to your Chromebook. Yeah. Or Google's gaming uh, PC, Stadia, right? It's still, that's still fair. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. As long right. as it is a thing. Uh, and um, White Wolf, thank you very much. You, you, uh, just, the... you just Mike Wazowski'd me, White Wolf. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, as a Chromebook owner, I would very much like to get Steam going for the native Linux games and the Proton games. And yeah, there's a lot of people that can't really afford a gaming PC, even something like El Cheapo for 300 pounds or $300, whatever the case may be where you live. It's a very good gaming system. But if you're talking but... about like a, even if it's Steam, if it's streaming, even if you can't afford that, you're going to have a crap experience unless you have, I don't know, fiber. Yes, you do need a good internet connection. Yeah, you, yes. you, you, you have to be Mr. Canadian Moneybags up there. <laughs> mm, making it rain. Dude, I don't know, man. And to your point, Jordan, I mean, by the time you end up with, you know, they make high-end Chromebooks with a high-end price tag. Like oh, yeah, you might as well just buy a laptop. Yeah. It's like, yeah. why are you doing that? I mean, that that's like, I, I look at the specs and it's like, oh, it runs Chrome OS. And it's like, yeah, it's like... That's something I would buy for somebody I didn't like. I'm like, here, look at this. Thing. Look how thin it is. Oh, it's all aluminium. And yeah, it runs Chrome OS. Ah, yeah, well, but, but like, that, that's, that's the thing. Pedro like, looks Google at me is... and Pedro's like, I, I would be fine with that. Go ahead. So, so, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> Google is trying to like muscle their way into the consumer PC space. And yeah, Chromebooks are great because most people do their shit on the web anyways. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. all they need is a browser. But like I I can totally see them trying to like nooch into that more traditional PC market for the people who want more local content. It, and there are would, a lot would, of people who have Chromebooks precisely because they're cheap. So having that content available even if it's not students. ideal in a platform. Yes. <laughs> even if it's student, not an ideal student, platform. Students or people or people who work good. in accounting. <laughs> You, 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 don't, you don't need a full computer you know unless what? you're doing some weird ass Excel shit. Man, which... playing Steam <laughs> on SteamOS to mainstream. No, you gotta you gotta play it on iOS. Right? Yeah. <laughs> we're we're talking we're talking about money bags. For those of you who are like legit money bags and have i everything, Steam Link has an a, a snap on uh on the app store. For, yeah, you, you can you can gyrate that fine ass. Um <laughs> There, there's a, there's actually two updates that came out in pretty rapid succession for the uh, Steam uh, iOS app. Uh, the first one uh, enables some mouse clicks when mouse buttons are bent to unscreen buttons. They also have some pinch zoom settings, uh, four finger taps, basically controller improvements. I quote controller because it's it's touchscreen. But I get, I get a very real question. I don't know about the i ecosystem. Do we have like a separate Steam chat on Android? Yes, I think ah. I think that I think they did do that. They, okay. they did break it up. Because there's the, there's the Steam streaming, and then there's, like, the Steam app that has, like, the 2FA and the chat stuff. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, but, there, you know, en en enough about this Apple nonsense. We got a new version of Proton. Yay! <laughs> Uh, 411-12, what does it bring? It brings that new hotness we talked about last week, DXVK151, all up in your face, man. That's the one that has the option to change the number of threads used for pipeline compilation. So if you get one of those, boo, which is not uncommon anymore, like a 12, 8, 12, 16, man, thanks, yeah, AMD. 
Um, I think you can get the optimizations if it is six cores. Oh, you can. Either way. And roll around with it. What else do we have? Uh, there's a fix for the controller, Xbox controllers, Neelix. Yay, I don't know what that is. And updates to the Steamworks SDK. All good. All neat. All new. And as I explained to someone on Twitter who was parroting, I think Chris Titus Tech recently said that you know, they're still operating on like two week old technology, uh, not technology, news. Yes, news is technology of the theorized DXVK hiatus, which was never, you know, it, it which was, was never official. And the developer was just saying that he was getting a bit tired of it. Dude, yes. was just, that's kind of what he's like, <laughs> rawr, on the internet. Sometimes you got to do that. And, and you know, <laughs> we were guilty of like, no, it could be on hiatus. And it clearly wasn't. Yeah. Well, um, yeah. and uh, like the very next week or the week after that it's like oh yeah d9vk it's a part of dxvk now mm -hmm. well that well that was that yeah. was part of the original <laughs> news post but anyways we're not talking about that we're talking about proton um yeah so the updated open vr support makes a couple games playable and it's nice to see that like valve is still working on trying to get vr stuff on linux via either native or proton giving people the option nope. <laughs> and yeah when when they say update steamworks integration i mean that's kind of a given if they're going to release a new version of steamworks they might as well update the version of proton to support it Indeed. Oh, and I guess I should point out, we can play the home game. I don't know when this um, switch got flipped, but you can play Witcher 2 now with Proton. You just have to move one configuration file, hmm. and it launches, and you can just run it on F you, that's why, mode, with like the <laughs> uber sampling mm -hmm. 2060 at 1080p. Eh, it's anywhere between oh, yeah. oh, man, I, 67 I, I, and 100. I, I, I actually caught someone streaming Witcher 2 uh, earlier this week. It's and there was a great, Yeah, there, 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 was, there was a great bit in there where it's like, and now watch this, and then the character just glitches out. <laughs> I've never played Witcher 2, so yeah, that's it, it, that dude streaming that was made me think. I'm like, does that have a proton yet? Turns out it didn't, but then it had a native port. Oh, Nada. yeah. Mm -hmm. mm. Version Happy New Year! I mean, I mean, <laughs> something, that, something that has a native port. Happy Lunar New Year. For, and uh, for, before, for yes, uh, before the uh, actual Steam uh, Lunar New Year sale hits, you get the uh, Lunar New Year update for That looks cars. like a Lunar Marshmallow. Oh, wait. The, 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 it's Lun them Lunar lanterns. Marshmallow. Lunar, lunar Marshmallow is my prog rock band name also can we play uh of like a map with those the lanterns, lanterns and trying to yeah. <laughs> yeah that'd be fun but no it's uh the new content uh season for uh rocket cars and it's called lucky lanterns and uh the, it brings a new arena it brings a bunch of new cosmetic stuff so yeah it's the usual spiel if you play a rocket cars if you've been following any kind of rocket cars news at this point you know what to expect from this one mm -hmm. uh they're not doing the um like loot boxes anymore so you can either buy into the season pass or <coughs> play enough to unlock everything so there's Spe that speaking of what's what's the over under on mr alert getting that rat race i, I was about to go to that i was like <laughs> we gotta put money down before we start seeing how many of the toppers he's collected from this um, right yeah <laughs> You know, I'm, I think I'll speak for the entire team here that uh, even though all three of us have hundreds of hours in Rocket League, it's because we play in the after shows, and I don't mind the dragon topper. That's kind of sweet. Um, the wheels are decent. The what, Outside of the aesthetics, I'm like, oh, look, it's it's a new background, which I understand that there are different arenas play differently, but I don't think any of us are good enough to, I'm like, no, it's another hole with a ball in it. Let's play all around. I, yeah, I, oh, and oh, the oh, arena the, is the... usually... The same size. <laughs> so, some, sometimes, but then you get like ones. the. the uh, I mean, the the um actually comes out. It's the fucking circle arena that fucks everyone mm -hmm. up. Mm -hmm. Fucks everyone. The up. U. <laughs> Good news, everyone. Wait. Is it though? Not really. Uh, Linux yeah. version has been disabled for maintenance. Linux version of what? Then hidden colors. Yeah. Uh, I don't know a lot about this game other than they sent us some copies over um, Curator Great. Connect. Yep. But what I want, I want to give them little prompts, man, because I don't like poop, poop, and everything. They're like, yo, we have temporarily, all caps, disabled the Linux version of our game. They're not giving up on it. We're adapt adapting our work completely to it. So, I mean, they're going to work on it, get it hammered out ASAP. We're sad we can't offer a good experience. Look at this. Something doesn't work. And they're like, yo, this is not up to quality. People are giving us money. 
for this and we're not charging mm -hmm. a discount rate for the Linux version, but let's just pull that off and let's get it a hundred percent before we get out the door. Good on you lot. Yeah. What's, what's nice about this announcement. It's not like uh, the rage two guy was like, Oh, Linux is inherently busted. Cause this optimization strategy that I use for windows doesn't work on Linux. <laughs> right. <Arr. laughs> something, something Mac. Arr. Yeah. It's like, no, listen, we, we, we bit off more than we can chew. We're going to take it off the store. We're going to, Fix it, and then mm -hmm. we're gonna give that, give it to you guys, and you know may, maybe maybe we'll throw some chairs out uh, at it after uh, after they get it fixed because yeah did yeah that's a really copies. nice change from the usual spiel yeah the the rage two guy I, I, uh, I guess Gary it's in Newman access, it is in early access cetera. which is even better <laughs> oh my god deal with it early access lol hashtags in um hmm. <laughs> As I'm playing, but yeah, it's a nice down. change of pace. <laughs> Let's continue the um, developer hugathon, though. Yes, because yeah. uh, well, the game we're throwing chairs at this week. Mm. Stick around for the chair spoilers. Position. Yes, uh, Danger Gazers. Uh, they had a bit of a thing uh, with. Was it um, called Radar Love? Please tell me it was. We got a wave no. in the air. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> They uh, decided, you know what, our game is great and all, but we know that piracy is a thing and some people just don't want to pay for our game. And every time that a developer decides to acknowledge that and say, release the game on some torrent website, it usually turns out well for them. And it turned out very well for the developers of Danger Gazers because they straight up put it on the Pirate Bay and oh, they no, saw a... It saw a significant boost in sales. Go figure. As it turns out, people appreciate not being treated like criminals just because they're PC gamers. Uh, so That's doing a something like this. That's column A, column B. Sometimes you can pay a little extra for that. Yeah, but uh, it goes a long you way. Dirty, uh, dirty boy. In buying mm, some good PC. Faith. Is that your baton or are you just happy to see me? <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, and you get to sell Ow. more copies in return, <laughs> as was the case here. And... You know, I'm not saying that all AAA publishers should <laughs> put their games on the Pirate Bay, mostly because they're already there, mm. uh, but not they're forcing paying services. customers into draconian DRM schemes would be a pretty good start. Mm. Just saying. <laughs> Why do you hate freedom? This new page is broken. <laughs> Well, I'm, I'm, I was away I'm, for I'm, two I mean, weeks. Give me a break. I'm, I'm, we, 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 we gotta, you know what? Never mind. No, no. that's a bad joke. That's a bad joke. It's a Next. bad joke. We got a we got a Next. long way down to go. Um, long way down. It's in early access. It is a card based dungeon crawler deck builder. Um, and this one has a bit of an interesting riff because, like in Slay the Spire and whatnot, mm -hmm. usually the cards are used for um combat. Like okay. the, the combat system is entirely based around the cards in your deck. This one adds a bit of an exploration element where you can. <clears throat> oh wow, that that person on the right straight up looks like Pedro. Um, Pedro's <laughs> dead. Let let him let him rest, man. <laughs> Never. <laughs> um, we're, we're we're gonna hook him up like a flush marionette. It's great. No, uh, but you you can actually use the cards in your deck to um, build out the dungeon and connect things and make shortcuts and cut off enemies. Oh, I was, so it's it's um, got a Stargate. Neat. The hands of fate. Yeah. A, a, li a little <laughs> bit like hand of fate, except more emphasis on like. The deck building as like cards as opposed to this just is your seed for your random level um yeah uh so i i like i like forcing people to have like a more varied deck like you can't just have like the pure combat deck because then you won't be able to get to the other side of the dungeon you need to have like the level building stuff as well twenty dollars though for an early access mines a little <laughs> steep just just a hair i get some I'm questions man i'm looking at the system <laughs> requirements and 1204 plus or desktop uh, only yeah plus Don't run desktop on a laptop don't run it on a laptop. You oh, will no. die. That's recommended desktop only. On the minimum, it's 1204+. plus. I'm, I'm going to ping some folks at Canonical about their desktop only version. Of <laughs> <laughs> no, you pl pl play it on a laptop at your own risk. Ooh. <laughs> Danger game. I mean, uh, the, no, the actual the actual concept of this game does sound very appealing to me because I liked both Hand of Fate and um, Slay the Spire, so... I threw this in yeah. here because both, both of you nerds like this type of thing. And I mean, it does look a little like, you know, I think, did anything look like Darkest Dungeons before that, in that genre? Or they're like, nope, this not, is Not nice. really, no. That that was the first to sort no. of introduce that Mike Mignola-esque Hellboy-style mm -hmm. art. Right. That but yeah, it the, looks the, the, good. And it's got, it's got yeah. a Stargate with a pentagram in it. Win-win. 
<laughs> Built by ancients so long ago. Goat by ancients. All right. This is the Hellgate. <laughs> Indeed. All right. Coming up next, we got a brand new NVIDIA driver. <clears throat> Yay. Australia's on fire, so you can give Humble some money. And Ooh. dongers. So many dongers. All the dongers. Yeah, again. <laughs> And boop. All right. And scene. Scene. Ob. Ob's scene. I haven't made that joke yet. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Ow. Jesus Christ. I fucked up my wrist. Too easy. I wasn't even doing uh, anything fun. You gotta be less adventurous, man. Listen to this. Put your pants back on. All right? Seriously. <laughs> sorry, audio. I'm sorry you didn't have to see that audio, listeners. You, <laughs> you, you can fill in your own visual. Also. Hey, you want to talk right. about fucked wrists? I'm going gonna, I'm, I'm gonna to be honest. I don't want to RMA the whole thing, but we should at least see if we can get a discount. Yeah. <laughs> can, can, can we get an extra arm thrown in as a bonus? Something, man. It, it's, it's it's an extra left arm, but still. So we can we can have him like. I don't know why you guys keep asking for this, but whatever. <laughs> <laughs> no, see, see, uh, what, what was what was that show? Ah, real monsters, where they like straight up have a one guy with like arms on two side on two arms on the one side of his body. We gotta uh, get that real going monsters. for Pedro. That was that a Nickelodeon thing? Yeah, that that was a Nickelodeon thing. With it was like a monster school, right? Yeah, yeah. There was like okay. the one guy who had like his eyeballs in his hand, and there was like right on. The yeah, I remember candy that. Cane uh, lady. Yeah, I remember that existing. Uh, oak barrel PC. I, I'm down with that if it can hold water. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. Okay. TikTok intermission clock. Oh, vote. Dot where shit gets real before we start. Are, are we going to go three for three with Pedro puns for the title? Yeah, man, <laughs> I don't make the rules. Pe Pe Pedro returns. It's like Batman returns. Pedro and Robin. Flesh Mary. <laughs> I mean. <laughs> You're welcome. Mayo minions. All right, uh, I'll give that one a little up, too. There we go. I'll give Flesh Mary a net. <laughs> I, I, that, that, that one I came up with at the end of uh, the Thursday stream. I was kind of proud of it. Generate that fine ass. <laughs> what was it like? The guy who designed Bayonetta spent like 200 hours perfecting her butt. No, uh, a woman did all the. Uh, I forget her name. No, she she, uh, she she did the she did the design, but uh, there was something about like a, one of the modelers, right? Oh, I'm sure one of the weebs on the team was like, yeah, yeah. It was it was that uh, <laughs> Japanese chick from uh, from the Game Awards. She did a lot of the character design for Bayonetta. It was one lady that did the uh, initial design, and they brought her back to do the second. Or so said the Bayonetta documentary. Um. Yeah, I, I think I think it was that chick from the Game Awards. What are red vines? They're like licorice, like red licorice. Oh uh, yeah, the red one. Yes. I don't mind liquid. the licorice vines. I'm probably the only person in my immediacy that actually likes them because that everyone say peace, I talk to diabetes. is like, I hate licorice. I hate licorice. Licorice is the devil. It's like, I don't mind it. I don't mind oh, it at all. <laughs> dude, it's 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 the best because like people come and like, oh yeah, I brought candy. It's black licorice. I'm like, fucking sweet. That's what I'm saying, oh, no, man. No. I, I'm kind of nice. like Invader <laughs> Zim and waffles with black licorice. If I could stomach sweetness and candy, that would be the one I could build up my tolerance. You should to. you, you should you should try uh, salmiaki. It's like super salty licorice. It's not sweet at all. I've tried regular like black licorice. Um, hmm. I mean. That that's about as far as I can go. It's they sell uh, teeny tiny boxes of black licorice mints. Amazing. <laughs> I told you this was all right. Fuck it, we're running. <laughs> <laughs> Slap a UPS sticker on your ass tomorrow. <laughs> you just want to touch his butt. Did you see this one? Didn't have one. <laughs> 
He just has a colostomy bag. <laughs> <laughs> that looks like a weeb pack of smokes. That's yeah, it does look like a pack of cigarettes. <laughs> it's, it, it's way smaller than a pack of cigarettes. Mm. It also is lying to me because I would expect some type of salmon paraphernalia inside that. No, don't, don't, don't pretend that anything in Finnish is what it sounds like because you will be wrong. <laughs> no. Everything's a vegetable place. <laughs> I don't know. Is Portugal considered Mediterranean-ish? Ish. Emphasis on the ish. No, no on that it's, one. it's 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 American, right? Not Mediterranean. Yeah, it's uh, the it's like the Atlantic corner of the Iberian Peninsula. It's like Mediterranean's <laughs> step because like because like Med Med Mediterranean's like. Turkey, Greece, mm -hmm. Northern Africa, and Spain, Spain, right up until yeah. the Strait of Gibraltar, like right there. Yeah, I didn't know it's if it the could slide in of there. Gibraltar. <laughs> Portugal is not a vegetable; it's a fruit. <laughs> it's a band. <laughs> yeah, it is. Was, isn't it like Portugal the man or something? Portugal, the, yes. Portugal the man. Yeah, you look at it. The, the man, man, the yeah. band, and uh, the full name. The man, the band, and Pedro Mateus. <laughs> and the hand, wait. <laughs> yeah, just the, the, the fucking hand from Daredevil's there. Just assassinating people. A temp temperate Marmite climate? What kind of weirdo goes around sticking thermometers at Marmite's butts? <laughs> I do? Oh yeah, that's don't, stupid Don't judge bust. me. <laughs> See, alright. I, I think that must have been shooped uh, a little bit. But it the, wasn't too no, far no, from that. No, 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 the, the, no, that the, wasn't the, shoot the, at all. The, this is this is the Ronaldo <laughs> one, right? Yeah. 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 I, yeah, I, no, I, that I was don't think it actually bad. cried, Pedro. I believe this one might have been true. <laughs> no, it cries blood. It, it cries blood. Blue blood. <laughs> it only feeds off royals in the evening. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Ro royals are people. <laughs> the from royal Alabama. family. The old royal family of Portugal is all dead. That bust ate it. Self-inflicted. <laughs> Consumed like Zeus and Cronus. <laughs> Man, I can close in, 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 in the in the book of Greek myths I read growing up when the, in, in the illustration they had for like the myth of Cronus, like they showed him with a six pack and each of one, each of his abs was like one of the different babies he ate. Oh, I, I thought he was an alcoholic. <laughs> like, let's, let's do this. You slept I mean, with it, your it, sister? It, six packs. I mean, it, it, it's a it's a Greek deity, so I mean, six of one, half a dozen of the other, right? Amen. He ate his babies like a dingo, <laughs> like a Scottishman, <laughs> like a Scottish dingo. Poor Sheila. Scottish dingo. <laughs> I don't know, man. Would you eat the Scottish dingo or go see it perform? <laughs> I'm, I'm pretty sure Scottish dingo is actually a sex move. Everything's a sex move. True. Yeah. <laughs> okay, someone needs to urban Scottish dingo like right now. <laughs> someone, needs, someone needs to bang suggest Scottish dingo. <laughs> what time did they cut the lights out now in Toronto? What do you mean cut the lights out? Like pitch black. There's always like street lights and stuff. No, no. Okay. <laughs> Hurdy pain bowl in the sky. When does that go below the horizon? Oh. Um these days like 6:05. Six six oh, really? 3? I don't I don't, I don't I don't know. Depends on me looking out a window, right? Mm -hmm. I guess I guess I can Google Sunset Toronto. Sunset Toronto 5:11 today. Yeah, the lights come on at like 4.30 here. I just noticed that when I had the um, installer out and I walked out, it was like 
dusk. Not like dark dusk, but light dusk. I'm like, oh, okay. An illusion tail? Then I walked outside to see if he's <laughs> fallen off the ladder. I mean, to check on him. And mm. <laughs> I gotta go take a piss. I heard something that sounded like a crash. I have my hopes up a little bit. Um, and it was like pff, nighttime. So right on. Yeah, it stands near. Does that even count as snow in Toronto? Yeah, it's the light snow. Light snow. Hmm. That's no. Yeah. Hmm. Like, if 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 you if you want to get into like the real snow snobs, you gotta go to Quebec. It's Quebec, man. You could just throw anything as like a qualifier, and, like and Quebec. I'm like, yeah, that's right. Quebec, Quebec. It got, it got it got pretty crazy in Calgary too, but that's because they don't plow. Ah, uh, wait, you're talking about. Road maintenance. I don't know. What, what's the birth rate in Calgary? It could be both. Is this sustainable? I don't know. Why do people live in the middle of Canada? Fuck that place. Oil. Mm, jobs? Well, yeah. well, so also Alberta doesn't have sales tax. So you get oil shell and no sales tax. Yep. Hmm. Awesome. I mean, it's, I mean, I I lived there for six years. It's okay. Like, it's... well, that's why you grew your winter coat. Yes. I'm so know. furry. Comparatively, yes, you are. Yes, <laughs> ba ba based on the sample size of cast members of this show, <laughs> I am I am the most her suit. Yes, but that's not saying much. Not really, but still. Listen, winning winning by default is still winning. Default, 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 default. Oh. A shirt coat. No, nope, shirt coat. I, I don't know. I, I, I would prefer that rather than living See, in California and it we, like we, going we, below. We can get the real truth. There it is. A shirt coat. Actually, my shirt better on mine. There we go. Ha, Steve, deal with it. None of this revision is history. Don't look at me. Don't look at my boobles. I don't know, man. You ever thought about getting a pet? Yeah, it's 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 a thing I keep considering, but at the same time, do I really want to make someone's life dependent on me? I'm just asking, man, because I'm sure I can get like some odds in Vegas on things if you do. <laughs> I don't know. The, there's there's actually a lot of dogs in this building. Like, they, I mean, they don't care. This is coming from a guy who has a plant. That's it. So yeah. it's not like I'm like, oh, yes, yeah, so I take care of It's like I yeah. barely, I, I let the plant get, start dreaming about the sweet release of death. And I'm like, nope. <laughs> Give it a few drops of water. Oh, man. Me, me, and, me and children do not get along. Okay. There's, 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 there's the reason I'm not having kids, Linux Nuru. It's not because no one wants me to impregnate them, although that does contribute to it. <laughs> it is a difficulty multiplier, but. But regardless, no kids. No, I, I, I think Pedro is the only one that still has some illusions of having children. Yes. Mm, see. At some point. <laughs> Not at some right point. <laughs> I'm, 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 I mean, like, I'm, 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 I'm at that age where I'm at that age where like a lot of people in my eligible dating pool have kids. Mm -hmm. So it's probably a thing I'm gonna have to deal with at some point. But like, not babies, like five year olds and stuff. The people I work with, every single one of them has multiple kids. <laughs> you see, you'll be in the bracket of like, no, 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 we'll have kids after thing, then it'll be after other thing, then you're like 47, you're like, oh, let's have children now so we can be 70 when they graduate secondary. Re really, <laughs> I, I want that dual income, no kids life. Jeez, it, yeah. Look at it, it's like, yeah, it's, it's, it's a sticker on the back of our car. It's got me. The missus, a giant money. pile of money. That's it. <laughs> yeah. 
Nori needs to finish her degree before we even consider having kids. That is the plan right now. <laughs> That's what you were told. So, so, uh, we, yes. you're going to have two, what, Pe <laughs> Pedro Jr. and Pedrina? <laughs> we get to be the uncles. Oh, God, could you imagine if we're like the godfathers? <laughs> we're just going to straight up, like, want to watch some shit? Come here. Let me, let's embarrass hey, your dad. Hey, let, let me show you this nice TV show with puppets. It's dad, called Barry the Brown Sock. <laughs> yeah, I immediately dad, went Why there. are you the Brown Sock, the brown sock puppet? <laughs> This makes sense if you've been watching us for seven years. Uh, yes. Deep cuts. LG, LGC deep cuts. The internet used to be a simpler place where we could get away with a lot more shit. I'll, 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 although, although I will, I will say, having children is a long-term strategy for having people to play couch multiplayer with. Because they're stuck with you. Mm. Yeah, at least for the first 18 years. <laughs> Not if you're responsible enough. <laughs> If Pedro's child left on left at an orphanage, grows mm -hmm. up to becomes Oliver Twit. <laughs> okay. Uh, we'll blow into the news. Let me get something to drink, and uh, we'll use this as we can play the danger game of cutting the heat. On. Ooh. Mm. <laughs> Which so so so. Uh, Remember that one episode of DS9 where like Odo gets the changeling virus and he's just like looks all Blair. healthy. We're, yeah, yeah, we're we're gonna get the Venn equivalent of that. It's gonna be great. <laughs> this room has two temperatures. It's either if if I keep the door closed and I don't cut the heat on, it's perfect. But if I open the door, it'll just get like fuck you cold in here, which is also fine. But then I have to switch <laughs> drinking tea. But if I cut the heat on and I it. it Thermodynamics, man. How do they work? <laughs> A thermometer in motion stays in motion. Top of the morn. Fuck you, too. <laughs> Top of the morning, tail lads. I don't know, man. I would not want to tango <laughs> with, like, a Canadian power bill for heat. It's called running two computers full-time all the time. <laughs> <laughs> That's that's a, that's another pro of the 212 Evo is that it does a really good job of dispersing heat from the CPU to the rest of the house. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> oh, okay. I th I think that is the thing that lay people still fail to understand. It's like, oh yeah, I got this sweet liquid cooling system. Yeah, the heat still has to go somewhere. Yep. But yeah, the reason I didn't get a, a 212 Evo for the uh, new uh, CPU on El Cheapo is because it wouldn't fit. Because the maximum uh, CPU cooler height on that case is 158 millimeters. Can you guess what the uh, height on the 212 Evo is? No. A hundred and fifty-nine. <laughs> now I can finally die in peace. <laughs> so, yeah, no, it won't fit. <laughs> yeah, no, I bought the Arctic um, C-34. It's a very good cooler. It keeps that 5820K at like 55-ish under 100% load, which is awesome. <laughs> the ENT20, what the heck is that? ENT20. Yeah, yeah, that looks very similar to the Arctic one. <laughs> Enema X2 ENT, what the fuck? <laughs> Mir, don't stick the CPU cooler up your butt. It's wrong. Uh, 
I could just straight up hear Jordan when I walked in the door. It's like, jeez. <laughs> that one, that's the one that's currently in El Cheapo. And also in it's... Artheron's butt. Mm. <laughs> Old butt sinks. Dude, I've, I've said this a million times, but if I could, like, get a 212 Evo that just, like, clips onto the back of my neck or some shit and just drains the heat from me, I would do that in a heartbeat. Don't, don't. Don't don't do that with the two twelve. You'll die of hypothermia in like right, six minutes. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Worth it. <laughs> Worth it. It's like for a full minute there, I was really comfortable, <laughs> and then I died, so it didn't matter anymore. <laughs> it's a different type of bead. All right. Um. One, two, three, four. We're locked. So I'm going to skip the old pause arena. Pull that in. All right. Getting ready for the news. Hmm. Yeah, Pennywise, I saw. <laughs> I didn't. Good. <laughs> the Hyper 212 with the easier to mount bracket. Oh, yeah. That we talked about in the pre pre super shows. And <laughs> yes. <laughs> Shut up, plugging time's in five minutes, not now. Three, two. And I suppose, uh, in true LGC tradition, I'm back, and uh, we're going to be talking about drivers at the start of the news, but before we get to that, okay. I need to thank a bunch of you, well, I need to thank uh, one person in particular this Man week, is. but uh, before Jesus. I get to that, I'm going to let Jordan do his spiel. Spiel, indeed. You should support this podcast, because it's great, and you enjoy it, right? Right? Yes. Right? Love it. Heading on over to, page, <laughs> My to favorite linuxgamecast.com, mousing over that support button. No. Uh, you gotta, gotta, gotta select maybe, maybe maybe the PayPals, maybe the Bitcoins, maybe the recurring donations, wish lists, the Patreons. <laughs> lots of lots of numerous options support us, like a store. We got a, we got a store. We got wish lists. Uh, if you, uh, you want to help uh, put the studios of myself, Ben, or Pedro together respectively, you so can pink. follow the... <clears throat> Yeah, so so pink. pink mouse, or or maybe you want yes, to buy Pedro some yoga pants. Pink mouse. Um, yeah, you you uh, you can do that. We also got a we got a store uh, store dot linuxgamecast dot com. You can buy all sorts of Linux gamecast paraphernalia. We don't have any LGC bongs yet, but I'm working. Not on Not yet, that. baby. I'm working on it. <laughs> um, of course, the best way to support us support this nonsense is to become a Patreon. Patreon dot com slash linuxgamecast. You get a What's bunch of cool stuff. What's that name again? Linux Gamecast. Patreon.com forward slash Linux Game. That's so sexy. I love the way you say it. Ooh, Patreon.com slash. <laughs> Patreon's getting ready to drop something. We better hurry up and quit our shameless e begging. Fine. <laughs> if you join our Patreon, you get stuff like the pre pre super shows and where we talk about JPEGs. So many JPEGs. We do. Uh, and, and Crunch. We did. Oh, <laughs> we also got a new thing. Um, Couple of people asked for it, and I talked about this on Wednesday. Uh, we'll have an audio only version of the uncut episode, so you can throw that in your custom RSS feed or listen to it directly through the Patreon app, however Sweet. you want to do it. Yeah, you can you can also get ask, access to access ask us Ax to our ask us ask to our us. Discord channel, uh, or or the show notes <laughs> show where notes. you can suggest stories. We, can, we try to you, sweeten it up, and you we try yeah. to dance for her. Um, yeah, if, if if you if you want to submit some stuff to be on the show, you can do that through our Patreon, through the mm -hmm. uh, show notes, or um, you can just sort of watch the show congeal over the course of the week until it becomes a greasy mass that you then inject into your ear holes or your eye holes if you're watching this on YouTube, <laughs> all four of you. Seems legit. Yeah. Yep. All right, Pedro, dance. So, yes, I do have to thank uh, Artherin for this um, GTX 1650. Uh, low profile Zotac gaming uh, GPU, mm -hmm. which currently is uh, sitting right here. Let me see if I can grab it. Drop something. Make it worth it. <clears throat> nope. Right here. Yes, you can drop it. <laughs> and the it fuck shatters. Out of it. Boom. <laughs> yes. <laughs> it doesn't shatter, but yeah, it's. Um, it's how how will you know until in... you try? No, no. <laughs> It's already in the uh, Steam Box uh, 360 V2, which is uh, very much on its way to being a fully working system. But, uh, as usual, got the thing here. Hold uh, it so up again. Are there... what, what, what type of Vaseline do you have smeared on that camera? I have it's no idea. I've, I cleaned the lens, but it's still doing this stupid glow effect. 
What? what? Yeah. Do, you, do you just coat your paper in mercury? Like no, just a microfiber cloth. Uh, but made of yeah. mercury. <laughs> uh, so he says, "Hola, Pedro." Have fun with the Steambox 2.0, the horsening. So that's its mm. official name now. All the worst are Theron. Mm. P.S. Mm. Say hello to Dory. I did. <laughs> did he say Nori or Dory? Did he want you to run into a door? Like, hi, Dory. Mm. Or, or, or buy a copy mm. of Morty. Finding Nemo, and every time Dory comes on screen, say, like, hi, Dory. <laughs> <laughs> so, yes, thank you very much for that, Arthur. And that was uh, unexpected, and you're crazy. And I love you. That is awesome. <laughs> uh, we do have Frank's fine upstanding cannibals. If you pick up anything in the studio, we will continually embarrass you, probably for up to 12 to 16 months. Um, because Frank Until likes to show space. us. Right. And then we have to get a new one. <laughs> Which, let, let's slow down on this one, because that was a pain in the ass. Thanks, Mike. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I love it. It was fantastic. Uh, can you? Uh, oh, oh, oh Arthur and all hang the on. homo. All the homo are there. There we go. We have Basil, <laughs> Mike G, and Carl. You can't see it when I have like Carl. It's kind of brilliant. It's kind of lovely. There, we're done with our e begging until next week. Ooh, dun dun dun. <laughs> Vulcan. We got to talk about. Oh. Have you talked to your children about Vulcan? No, because I don't have any children. <laughs> ah, life hack. I'm, uh, let, let me go to the park and acquire some, excuse me. No, we've been over why that's a bad idea on multiple occasions. <sighs> okay, 1.2, Vulcan came out, and NVIDIA's like, yo, you, you got oh, same day, boom, here's a new beta driver for, it's, uh, let's see, 440-4802 on Linux. A couple little fixes, a couple little things, bits and bobs, nothing radical to report, but... I tested it. I'm running it right now with all the 1.2 edition. It just seems like there's, there's a gang of new stuff in 1.2 yet to be implemented, which is neat. To which I always like to say, same day. Because I remember when I got the um, 2060. The 2060 came out, and I, I thought to myself, huh, let me order that. Three days, the drivers for the 2060 were out before it showed up at my house. And so tell me again. With this, Pedro, how does NVIDIA hate Linux again? The internet tells me they do. I get confused. Yeah, no, the internet uh, says that they do. And then mm. you have stories like that one you posted on Twitter about them basically supplying. It's like, these are the header files for the Turing cards oh, yeah, to the yeah. Nouveau oh, right, people. Then, it's like, yeah. yeah. Mm. <laughs> good, good, so, good luck yeah, having that... some functional drivers in 10 years. They clearly don't want to share the sauce, and that's what takes people the wrong way. No, but no, yeah, no. I mean, these yeah. Vulcan, these Vulcan beta drivers, and having Vulcan one point two support on day one. Yeah, <laughs> yes, please. That I I demand <laughs> open source drivers because I only play open source video games. If on you an have open the world source record, uh, speed run on yes. Super Tux Cart, you might. You might. <laughs> Uh, here, here, here's, here's a question though, because like, okay, well, I would I would say Vulcan's still in its infancy. It, it's only been a few years since it's been out. Do you think there's gonna be like a Vulcan version that everyone just kind of defaults to? Like, for a while it was DirectX uh, nine, now it's DX eleven for OpenGL. Everyone's still writing shit in OpenGL two, regardless of the fact that two point one ES and three and four are out. OpenGL three point three is kind of like the go to. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Okay, in all seriousness, this does bring descriptor indexing, bus buffer device addresses, and Spear v1.5. And prime yeah. synchronization support for the Linux kernel 5.4 new. Yeah, if you, if, you, if you got an NVIDIA yeah. laptop, so it's a good, it's good time. Prime. Get less terror. That's pretty cool. Prime. Well, let's get ready not to bundle, but to moo. Yes, because it's the, uh, well, it's one of see, the bundles I almost, that... Uh, I almost screwed up, man. I was like, what does a cow, a cat, and a cock have in common? No, I'm not saying that. <laughs> I'm not saying that. But yes, it's the humble Sweet Farm bundle. And uh, there are a couple of uh, Linux titles in this one. There's uh, Niche, Evergarden, Equilinux, uh, Equilinox, I suppose, uh, Ultimate Chicken Horse, and of course, Stardew Valley. Uh, by the way, if anyone wants a uh, key for Stardew Valley, I have an extra one, so uh, hit me up. Mm -hmm. uh, the Yeah, this bundle uh, is one of the bundles currently available. 
uh, on Humble. And the other one, which I think personally is the most important one, it's the not holy shit, pay what Australia you want. is on fire. Yes, bundle. Yeah, it's uh, yeah, basically Australia is on fire. Oh God, please help us! Uh, and yes, to help Australia actually fight the fires and to have some money to spend on resources to fight those fires. And uh, that's what Humble are doing. It's you have to pay twenty five um, twenty five dollars or more to get the games. But I guess that's a fair enough cause to actually have like it a million is, value. and a couple of really good games are in there. Willalytics support, yes. and th this this is not like D list games either. No, you, yeah, you got, no. You got <laughs> Armello, you got Hollow Knight, right? Regular human basketball, yep. Satellite Rain, uh, Assault Android, Cactus, you, Hand of Fate Two. Yeah. The what was it? Vo Void Bastards was the one that I think we were all kind of curious about. Yeah, because yeah. it's a first-person roguelike-ish type of thing. Apparently, it works really well with Proton, so... They'd... What doesn't? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, except for Bioshock and Vine. Um... Womp womp. <laughs> yeah, that's got uh, the Windows versions got... Actually, it's got the Valve uh, DRM, and that's what's stopping Proton from letting it work. Hmm. But, you know, irony of all ironies, in regular wine, it works just fine. Nice. Hmm. So, um... <laughs> Jordan, you love talking about dongers. I love dongers. Oh my god! I mean, it's you so just great. want dongers all over your face, chest, and neck. I am donger a genuine this, donger, donger fan. I, I decorate my house with dongers. I wear clothes exclusively made out of dongers. And when it comes to nails, I nail them in with hammer dongers. Oh. Um, yeah, uh, it's available on itch. It is free to play. You can download it. It is. Um, Unfortunately, it is one of those games that is local co-op only, oh, no. which is unfortunate because you know it's it it looks okay enough. It's 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 a it's a crawler game, dungeon crawler game. Mm -hmm. Um, you could actually play it uh online with online multiplayer because you know Steam Remote Play doesn't give a shit if you're actually using a Steam app or not. <laughs> yeah, you just need fair. <laughs> so you you could you could get it up and running. Um, appa apparently uh. Was this the one that you need one control? You need one keyboard for, and then the rest are controllers or something like that. Um, but yeah, it's it's available on Linux. Finally, you can check it out. You can download it for free. Give, give, give it a shot if you if you got yep. if you got if you got friends unlike us who have no friends. That so I'm looking at. Us. I mean, you're basically two nights. You're running around. You're donging with your hammers. Yeah. Yes. And if you don't, it's hard a enough... bomber man with hammers. Oh, yep. hammer man. Well, bomber man already had a hammer, so <laughs> yeah, it's it's donger man. Donger man does donger. whatever a donger can. No, <laughs> too hot for Twitch, baby. Um, <laughs> spins a dong. <laughs> Hipster pixel polygons. That's the thing that I'd like you to play with at home in, in your own time. So. I wanted to play around with Tomb Raider one. No, child, not that one. The one from 1996. It's like let me let me see what this open tomb thing is. It's like that's neat. I have a copy of Tomb Raider on the Steam, so I crack open that. I pop it and it's like, oh wow, that's in like some weird ass file format. To the internet, the internet told me to pound sand, and I found one post, one lone post on page two of Google in a GitHub comment. The guys, like yo man, this is how we do it. So it turns out, in order to get game got dot gog out. You got to make a Q file. Then you got to use B-Chunk to turn it into a real ISO because game got yeah, kind of like an ISO. Not really. Then you can mount it and get your data bits out. And I tried to simplify this and make it one thing. If you're going to be doing a guide or something, you try to idiot proof it, you know, because I, I, for one, appreciate idiot proof guides because I can something up real quick. This I thought was simplified enough, you know, hammered down like, okay, you follow these for technically five steps you get your data files and pedro's like hold my beer let me show you how to do this uh i was just commenting at first at that uh, katana steel on the youtube comments mentions like yes if you look at the uh, dos box con file it actually tells you which file it mounts mm -hmm. as the cd drive mm -hmm. except in this case it's a um it's two files. It's the game.dat and the game.gog. Mm -hmm. So it's a Q bin, um, not an ISO. And as, uh, of course, if you are um, our patron and you 
to have access to the show notes, this is what you pay the good bucks for. Uh, because you you got to see me and Ven going back and forth. And then Ven just said, it's like, yeah, at the end of the day, if you try to use bchunk on uh, the dat file as if it were a Q file, it will just spit out nine different CDRs and only one of them has the actual well, data yeah, in it. Well, I mean, if you want eight empty files of the CDR extension your way, a lot more effective then i yeah <laughs> but that's the thing here's the thing uh, Pedro. i didn't you won, know though you won because i was like how the hell do you mount a cdr file under i haven't done that in a minute can i change it to low ISO? setup it's like no, no that... yeah then i got into the rabbit hole of like more challenge accepted then katana chimed back in and he's like yo if you use cde and you and this other kernel drive to which i was like you know what use old man vin's way yeah, no, Ven's way is definitely the cleaner version here. It's just that if uh, Gog had actually gone to the trouble of removing the empty um, track entries from the Q file, mm -hmm. which is the that file, uh, then it would have sped out an ISO, but they didn't. So you get eight empty files. So that's <laughs> the thing. If you want to play around with it, I suggest using Open Laura as opposed to open to him but open to him if you just want to play around with the engine and load some stuff up if you want to play the game use open lord you can watch me fumble around on that i put that up on youtube's and i would like to point out that no q bins were harmed during the filming of this instruction no. video <laughs> pa uh jordan i i saw that you were reading a dane cook novel glenn cook dane cook got it no. This is the one that changed. <laughs> for, your, for the audio listeners, he's holding up Dane Cook's Glenn autobiography. Cook. <laughs> yeah, it's, it, 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 it's about how they, they faked his giant penis in American it, It's Dots. called LOLOMG. Yeah. Which, <laughs> hashtag MySpace. It, 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 it's called I Stole a Bunch of Jokes. How mm. I Got Away With It. That's brilliant. Redo. Well, you two can steal a bunch of ideas and uh, build them into a Doom level if you use... Um, mac os or linux uh and uh, this is redoomed uh if you remember back in the day there was a bit of a level editor that john ribeiro and john carmack release uh on next step it was uh, called doomed and yeah it, it was basically just the um a very well, I wouldn't say very easy, but an easier to use a level editor for Doom than the ones that had been available before that. And I guess at one point, uh, Rite of Passage for anyone who liked Doom was actually a to make your own level. I like Doom, just not that much. But uh, Neverwinter Nights, though, I'm still waiting for Beamdog to release the uh, Linux version of that particular editor. But this one, yeah, you, it. It's the old next step version for um, current day Linux. And if you really well, hate yourself, it. you could fire it up and use after step. I mean, for that. <laughs> yeah. You could, yes. Yeah, well, I, I was going to like, what, what, what was that next step build system? But it, but anyways, I, I actually do like the idea of updating these tools to run on modern OSs. Because mm -hmm. like, I don't know, maybe maybe get something crazy like a Mario Maker-esque movement for Doom now that you can like easily put levels together. Mm. That, that, that might be yep. kind of a fun thing, like a, Do you... like a Doom Maker. What you're thinking of when you said those words, I was triggered and I had that flashback, the new step build environment. If you really genuinely hate yourself, get that set up. Because I remember there was that one game that like racing, like, uh, yeah, we, it, it, this was like LGC year one or some shit. Sure, like, yeah, we're talking like some yeah. plus years ago and it got open sourced. I think it, it, it was a game on Desura. Mm. It may have been. I think it, it was. Been. All right. That's not the only retro hipster pixel stuff. Yeah. We got. Uh, Libretro, you know him, you love him. They're what you use if you want, if you have a Raspberry Pi and you want to play some video games on it. Um, so they got a brand new core for you, BeastNess HD, which is doing some interesting things with uh, widescreen. Is it and... truly pushing the limits of a SNES? No, because there are no SNESs involved in the making of this product. <laughs> at all. And this video is full of lies, Jordan. It, it's it's an emulator, man. It, it's clickbait titles. That's, no. that's how you do. Okay. Um, but yeah, so people really hate letterboxing. You know, these games once upon a time were made when people had four by three TVs, well, and now that, people jokes on you. I can adjust my big screen so it doesn't have the letterbox. La di da. I mean, the uh, circles the, are a little um, obtuse, stretch. But yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, you, yeah. You, 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 you can stretch. I, re I remember, I remember when the Game Boy Advance came out. You could play the old Game Boy games in it, mm. and yeah, you could have it take up the entire screen. I'm like, 
oh, I don't like letterboxing you. It's all gross now. Uh, but they added a few modes for various widescreen configurations, some of which may introduce artifacts on screen, but it does stuff to like extend the background, fix parallax scrolling, uh, to prevent the distortion of sprites from being uh, from being stretched out when you move it from uh, four by three to sixteen by nine. Uh, like like uh, the article says, though, they probably this probably won't work with a lot of Super Nintendo games completely out of the box. There'll need to be some ROM hacks in order to address some of these things. But you know that's to be expected because again, these games were designed to be run in four by three, and these are. People hacking the underlying fake hardware that is running the games to run them outside their original parameters. Tiny Tunes. Tiny Tune Adventures, man. Yeah, and uh, one of the things, it's like the most popular SNES games, I can absolutely see them, like the ROMs getting hacked to allow for this until then, right up until Nintendo sues somebody. No, no, the, no they're not going to the sue anybody SNES. until they release the um, HD SNES. Yeah, no, it, 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 it's yeah, up, <laughs> the HD SNES <laughs> Mini. With the this, is all, this, titles. this is all open source. So they're, they're going to take the code, they're going to integrate it into their mm-hmm. own shit, they're going to do all the ROM hacks in house, and then mm-hmm. they're going to go after these guys and be like, no, you can't yep. do this. <laughs> Easy peasy, cease and the cease. <laughs> Pretty much. Yeah. <laughs> Good luck. We're not doing that for a short title. It's too long. Um, <laughs> Sp- speaking of easy, it's it's so easy, you guys. It's so easy. Uh, it's it's so on. easy to it's hammer on yet another one of these articles. Yay. Linux gaming made easy. The from fastest way to get up and running. From CD. The, CD. The, slide- the slideshow. Yay. The sli- it's, not, it's, not an art- it's not an article. It's a slideshow. Okay. Fine. No, this isn't LWDW. This is uh, Linux Gamecast Weekly. And uh, yeah, it's a ZDNet article about. Uh, so, step you know, one. <laughs> um, get your start. Ubuntu's. Got it. Got it. Okay. Step two. And then is... um, go to the software center and okay. install Steam. Those tracks. Yeah. What do I type in to get to that screen, though? I think you just. Uh, the key. You just click on the things and you get to. Yeah, you just click on the little squares down on the bottom left on the Gnome, Ubuntu software and you get center to... is the UI package. The easiest way to get started, but it, you don't tell me how to get to it, David. <laughs> I'm forever stuck <laughs> so, here. So, at a so I, I, I mean, I mean, that, that, that's obviously goofing, but there are definitely people who'll be like, "You didn't tell me exactly where to click." This Linux is yes. broken. I can't. It's literally unusable. Okay, let's literally let's, let's just figure out if I managed to overcome this insurmountable um, omission and I made it into there. Okay, it, it has a red arrow to games. Okay, mm-hmm. but can, can I click on it if it doesn't have a red box and arrow around it? Is that still sure. Because I'm not <laughs> seeing one on my desktop. <laughs> I mean, that's like the universal highlight color, right? It's just that red box. Shh, shh, shh. <laughs> don't, 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 don't question it, Pedro. And uh, <laughs> okay, hey, once a Steam installer. That's neat. Yeah. Done. <laughs> so you, 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 you ins- you I don't get a it. screenshot. Nope. Oh no! Oh yeah, no. They do say it's like yeah. Don't get scared by the fact that there's no screenshots. Like know, really, man. pretty spooky. Really? I'm, I'm terrified by screenshots, so it works out for me. I am more worried about the baby feet on my monitor. <laughs> Linux is Why small baby feet. Uh, <laughs> oh, still no screenshot, but, but it's moving. 69. Ooh. Nice. 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 <laughs> okay, launcher. There moves. you go. Which it's one do installed. I click? Okay, yes. here's the thing. This one's 50-50. Um. <laughs> launch or remove <laughs> i like options um okay so that puts things on the desktop wait there is no desktop you're still not explaining how we get to the screen um but let's pretend you did then i opened and, uh, they read into an issue this is the point where they read into an issue and actually the steam window spawned with no content so they had to kill it and start it again. Man, look look at this Windows like behavior. It's like, oh, we just mm-hmm. launched it a few more times and it started. So all good. Um, okay. <laughs> okay. I mean, uh, to to be fair, that does work regardless of your operating system. Hey, we yeah. got we, we got we got Steve. We got the account. Yep. Okay, we're familiar with that. Ah, uh, we all know that two factor authentication. Mm-hmm. Yes. This this is you called should have it enabled. Go find That's your mobile. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Get, get up. <laughs> Then we got friends. Oh, he has no friends. No. Womp, womp. <laughs> and then we're going to And there it is. There's Steve. City Skylines. He's like, look, I have a Linux game. Followed by 
clicking on a penguin and you make the penguin blue. And mm-hmm. what does that do? It the make- f- making the penguin blue filters by Linux or uh, Proton whitelisted games only. Right. So you only see the games that are known to work. But if you don't click on the penguin, then you can try, say, Fallout Four, Washington. which I am pleased to say that actually Washington. works out of the box now. So or close to anyway. Uh, so yeah, good job to Valve for that. This but, is yeah. a little bit of an aside. Do you do the um, desktop? No, uh, things I the always have to take I those. I, yeah, I'm always straight out of Steam, like straight out of Compton. Pause button. It doesn't. It does. No explanation here. It's just a red circle around the pause button. <laughs> it's, it's, there's a downloading bar. There, there. It doesn't there, matter. There, there, there is actually text underneath the image, but the uh, layout of this website does not make it. Give the yeah, game wait. a few minutes to download and fully install. All right, all right, all right. Fair there, there, there is some text accompaniment, but now you got to do a lot of scrolling. It's too much. Too much scrolling. And we're in civilization, followed by Atlas wants a hug. And yeah, that's it. <laughs> and to close our slideshow, and here we are. Once the game launches, it plays exactly as you'd expect it would. Or does it, Jordan? <laughs> I mean, Civ? Yeah, it does. Well, you know, I, I, I feel, I can't help but feel, maybe, maybe they omitted some things? Yes. Okay, so let, let, let's, let's back this up. Because, A, the, the, the big prime thing here is actually so the, the the setup of getting you know a game running under Linux. This is actually a pretty okay guide for what it is. Um, for for a fairly bare bones guide, whatever. Sure, it gives you the basic instructions, but that's not the hard part. Mm. The hard part for and it's not it's not even a hard part, but it's it's a hard part for people because it requires a mindset change that people are unwilling to go. So through. this is more like the um soft floppy part. Yeah, this is this is the soft part. It is okay. it is the half chub part. Right. Is actually getting Linux installed. Is actually downloading an ISO file, flashing it onto a USB drive, going through the installer. People might not know what a partitioner is. People are going to get freaked out by the multitude of options, and they're and things may not work right out of the box because if you have a brand spanking new AMD card like the twenty eighty Ti killer that is coming spoon quote unquote. Mm. Uh, it's not. It's not going to work out of the box. Or if you have an NVIDIA card and you're not using a distribution like Ubuntu, Ubuntu is nice enough. Wait, hang on, say, hang on, uh, Jordan. Unfortunately, I, my 5700 XT just locked up the system again. I got to reboot. So I'll hold that thought, and I'll, I'll finish this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but so 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 here here here's the thing: getting people to set up an operating system, getting lay people to set up an operating system, is a bit of a big ask. Most people don't do it. I would say like Dell and System76 have the right idea. Mm-hmm. Just provide it yep. to you as a product. Uh, I would say Dell needs to do a much fucking better job of promoting it. Stop Hannah, treating it like, well, oh, this is a developer machine. No, you can use Ubuntu to do whatever you want. I, I get a feeling like if I was going to be buying something from System76, I always do say that price comes with that support. Yes. Like, ring, ring, sub girlfriend. They'd be like, yo, what's up, hooker? And you can have a real yeah. conversation rather than like, ah, oh, read the manual. But... but- before I even get started with this, I put in the notes as like I have not read the to Jordan's point. I have not read the slideshow. I have you read the slideshow. <laughs> but to my point is I'll get onto this in a minute after Pedro. It's like unless this starts off with learn how to use Linux. Step one. It, it it's full of fail. Yeah. <laughs> And yeah, it's another one of these articles. We've seen these time and time again. And yeah, it doesn't really address the main concern, which is to install the operating system. And that kind of got me... It's like, oh yeah, stream on Tuesday, one of these days might very well be. It's like, okay, we have a computer. Let's install Linux. Maybe that'll be the one that um, actually gets through to people. You gotta screw with people, Pedro. You gotta have like a that window. wasn't sarcasm. No, at all. No, I swear. It wasn't because <laughs> you're saying I want to do it. I, I want to have like Windows 10 open and I want to have Linux open in a VM. Damn, I'd have to do like VM subption. Anyway, it results in me accidentally alt tabbing out of Linux and showing off that it's Windows underneath. I'm like, oh no. <laughs> <laughs> And trying to I don't have like, a laptop with Windows. Try, trying to cover laptop. it up real quick and be like, nope, nope, and just close. <laughs> Stop the stream. No, no, you no, didn't no, see it, anything. It's a Mac. It's a Mac, it's you guys. Mac. Yeah, right. Here's my thing. Here's my thing. Uh, I'm going to say step one with anything. This just applies to anything in general. Learn how to install video drivers. This one drives me up the wall, and it seems to be driving people up the wall. 
and I can only speak to NVIDIA, but knowing how to install that run file, knowing how to install CUDA is going to free you up completely. It just quit trying to click your way out of problems. It's not going to work most of the time. If you get lucky, that's fantastic. Good on you, mate. Learn to set up a build environment. Clone a Git repo. Build something from source. All these things are tools in your arsenal. Because this is Linux, you know? There will be terminal. Period. Get Varthy. over it. <laughs> That's not something that needs fixing. I don't think it does. Simply, mm -hmm. you know, of course, a litany of bloggers on the internet were like, this is how we fix Linux. We make it, we put more next buttons and shit because we're Windows-like <clears throat> thinking. We don't want to our brain well and... It's a different operating system. It's more advanced. I'm sorry. Deal with it. You know what they're putting into Windows? Windows subsystem for Linux. Guess how that works? Command line. You can learn to use it. And PowerShell. <laughs> and Visual Studio to wrap around all that. Yeah. At the end of the day, man, once you get those basic skills in your little war chest, man, it's going to be brilliant because you're going to stop distro hopping because I see a lot of people hopping them distros, fam. Because they want that, what Jordan was describing, getting better at, I just put the thing in, it does the stuff. You're going to quit doing that, you know, you're, you're going to lose that loyalty. Because you're going to be looking for the distro that just gets out of the, your way the most. You're like, oh, I want the latest and greatest video driver? It's in the AUR. Not always. I usually have a fresher kernel or the latest beta drivers before they show up in the yard because I just download them and install them because I've developed that skill set, which is going to help you with so many other things. So I, I don't 100% agree with that. I think I really that, do think that Linux listen, should be your man. I love you. And it's okay that you're wrong. I don't have a problem with that. <laughs> uh, listen, like, like, like I was saying, Linux should be your man who does both. It, if, if you want people to actually start using the damn thing, you have to start addressing some of the common usage complaints. And that means that, yeah, there should be a lot of GUI tools that help people. It should open up the door to allow people to say, okay, well, I need something more advanced. Now that I'm confident, now that I feel like I have a general understanding of how this operating system works, I can dig into the plumbing. That's what, that's how, that's how a lot of people gain their windows, quote unquote, skills after dicking around in the registry. They get to a point where after installing third party app after third party app, they eventually have to crack open the command prompt, do some reg edit stuff, dig into the plumbing, but they do that after they've gained confidence. You see, in the, the type of people that actually go through that, they install Linux, they know what they're getting to, they prepare themselves and they do it. The type of people that uh, go, F that noise, I'm going to download another third party app. Then they're going to try to install Linux one weekend. And you're like, Linux is stupid. I got no. Well, yeah, it, of course, it's a mindset <laughs> shift. Things will work differently. But at the same time, it's we, the entitlement it, it, and no. audacity of walking into a enterprise level operating system going i need more shit to click on i don't need to learn how to do this i should be able to directly apply <laughs> you, you what know, i've you know, already known but here, here here here's the thing though if that's not easy to learn if it's not accessible to people they're the just internet, not going to do it at all period can, at all linux is so easy to use now i mean it is absolutely absolutely it is it is <laughs> it is better than it has ever been you for 90 percent of what you're going to do as just a daily driver you uh, just as a general user you will not need to crack open a terminal and i think it is a it does it is a failure of the product to not meet a core requirement of its user base to make at least getting to a functional state easy that's, that's all i'm saying linux anyway we don't have yeah, to worry that, about that, any of this desktops dead i mean yeah so. <laughs> you, you, every, everyone just get on your pine phones that's the future pretty much yeah, it. pc gaming is dead <laughs> All right, <laughs> coming up next, we're th we're throwing chairs at a game. It's it's, it's danger gazers. Danger it's dangerous. Gears. Danger banana. Oh, dangerous. Oh no. We oui, we oui. don't gaze at me. <laughs> Boom. Yeah, we would have a new. Everyone on Twitch, check and see if we get the other remote. You'll know it's there if you see it. Maybe we don't. Which I have, you know, submitted two weeks ago. Oh, it's an so emote. Selfish is where it's at. <laughs> what are you doing now? Cleaning it further. <laughs> we're, we're, we're talking to the, the hand because Pedro ain't listening. Talk the towel. You want to get hot? So... 
Uh, out of curiosity, Pedro. Not out of curiosity. I'm going to ask you a fair question. Is that the same okay. mug that you use to wipe off your vape? No. Okay. You sure? <laughs> he's he's looking a little this Vaseline. to wipe off my vape. <laughs> he uses it to wipe off. You know what? Never mind. <laughs> you see, Pedro, I never make assumptions. I will gladly ask a dumb. I will gladly ask a dumb question before I'll spend. You you, okay. you know tech support, baby. This is like yeah. Cover cover the <laughs> motherfucker. I've seen you do dumber shit than that, so I don't want to hear it. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see if the glow is still there. Eh, it seems to be gone now. I don't know. Looks it's magical. Low. It's glowing. It's the card of power. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually a very good performer. <laughs> I put it into Nori's PC. I laughed while she wasn't using because it. you got that 1660 and Nvidia's like, hold my beer. How much is it? 2060 now. Now it's in budget bill territory. It's still 300 bucks. No, that's for the Founders Edition, the most expensive one. You can get one now for uh, 279. From you can get All the, right. okay. <laughs> you can get the uh, one from MSI called uh, what is it called? It's got a stupid name. It's like the business maker or some shit. It's their overclocked 2060. <laughs> the business maker. This business video card maker. will make you a business. Dude, it is in the business of giving the business and business is good. I'm MSI. I name shits. It's MSI. Come on. <laughs> I, I, I don't I don't know I I I, lo I entirely lost hope in MSI marketing when I bought a video <laughs> card that came with a little door hanger that says don't open gaming inside. Yeah. I'm like that's that's how, that's how you repel sex. Period. <laughs> I thought that was cornflakes. <laughs> Building your own PC, man. <laughs> no, man. They they, they thought cornflakes <laughs> would stop you from masturbating. They were wrong. The corny, the corny makes you horny. <laughs> yeah, no, 1650 is uh, finally something that uh, outclasses the 970. And it's completely PCIe powered. Uh, yeah, it, and it's low profile. I, I'm, so, I'm totally yeah. waiting for the Microsoft XXX Xbox XX69. <laughs> We got, we got show titles. If you go to vote.linuxgamecast.com, you can vote on them. You can bang suggest them in chat if you're in Twitch or Discord or Irk. Flesh Marionette still seems to be in the lead, followed by Mayo Minions. Yep. And no Q bins were harmed. No Q or bins were harmed. Where's this stupid thing at? That's going to bug me. All right. <laughs> Yes, no Cubans were harmed. <laughs> Bring me the first Cuban child. Flesh marionette. Holding strong at number one. New no Cubans. Oh. Well, Mayo minions. Distant. Oh, well, no. Tied. All right. In general, that fine ass. The worst thing. <laughs> Think Mayo. Mm -hmm. No SNES involved. This is going to fuck with people. I'm going to give you no fuck with that. No Dane Cook, no one. Yes, <laughs> let's fuck with people. I'm going to vote for the one I said. Um. <laughs> it's called Get Fucked, the series. <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> I mean, this, this is how a show ends up being titled after the one with one fucking vote, too. Keep going. <laughs> That'll get a curiosity click. Why are they talking about <laughs> Dane Cook? <laughs> oh no! See, see now, now we're starting the feud with Dane Cook. Like <laughs> that feud already started, baby. We're just finishing. The, it. the the gauntlet is on the ground, sir. Are you gonna pick it up? As LGC concludes their multi-year-long <laughs> feud with comedian Dane Cook <laughs> by there returning no his children. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I need drink. Okay. Oop, oop, and, and files to 
download? I don't know what vid 2019. I'm not opening that. That could be this, this is Axiom Verge. It's pre pre super chosen. What did you. Briss Scaly Dude? No. God damn it, Pedro. <laughs> Game MP4.m4v. There we go. Dot M3U. <laughs> dot RAR. RTX, man. Yeah, you can have RTX everywhere. I mean, at 279, that that is like, oh, I'm just going to buy one for the encoder. Mm, how much does a 2060 go for in Canada? I'm curious. Mm. That's super clocked. Nope. No super. Yeah, um, no, super, super clocked, not super. What does the uh, super go for in Canada? Because I can get the budget. Uh, you know what? For four sort, by, sort by lowest price. Let's see what's going on. Yeah, um, up, up, up here in Canada, you're not getting away without paying under 430 bucks. Oof. 2060, 369. That's too much. Amazon. GTX 260, 896 megabyte, 448 bit. Mm. Yeah, buddy. Um, it doesn't look like Amazon's any better on the price. Yeah, you're you're paying around four twenty. Twenty sixty. <laughs> Lays it. Three twenty four. Three. They haven't adjusted. Fuck all prices. So by lowest price. What's the creep? Oh, Wait. meter mall discrete 1050 Ti for 76 bucks. Ooh. Yeah, that's totally not going to blow up your computer. Why is the chair outside? Or did you paint it? Is that what you did, Steve? Is that toxic fumes outdoors? And a very old television set. And a rice cooker, It looks possibly. like my old chair. <laughs> Without the eyes. I don't know, man. Mayonnaise-based husbandry. Um. May husbands. <laughs> yeah, the... Yeah, the, the, the cheapest you're going to get, the 2060... Uh, on Amazon.ca is 450 bucks. New Egg will get you one for 400. What does Nvidia bucks. sell them for? It, right at Nvidia Direct. Do we have Nvidia Direct sales in Canada? Mm, I don't know. Nvidia.ca is that a thing? Potential security risk. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Give up the you credit. You can get digits. a Zotac 2060 for 272 pounds. That's the cheapest one you can get here. Nope. Nope. Welcome to the official NVIDIA back. store, <laughs> GeForce video cards. There's a Paylet RTX 2060 for 269 giggity. <laughs> oh yeah, no, the, the, the store is US only. Oh. So I could I, I could buy it, but it's just like I'm paying US dollars for it and getting shipped here. So. Yeah, that you don't come out on top like that. No. Yeah, 2060 Super from them... Three ninety nine. Oh wait, no. Uh, See, if I'll that payload was two hundred and fifty, Nori would have a um, new GPU by Monday. <laughs> yeah, three 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 hundred three hundred twenty nine dollars for the twenty sixty, but that's US. So conversion shipping, they're gonna slap duty on you too, because fuck Ew. you. That's why. Yeah. 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 Two ninety nine <laughs> for the. Uh, there it is. The KO. That it was EVGA, not MSI. They Damn. called it the KO Gaming Knockout Gaming. <laughs> Told you, dumb name. Really, KOs. Yeah, they're all the founders. Stupid cheap too now. Yeah, two hundred dollar twenty sixty two hundred nine. Yeah. Oh, if it's two, it was two hundred dollars. That's a fucking yoink. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, that's a ten seventy for yeah two hundred dollars. <laughs> I, 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 I was at the grocery store and, and they had like. 
I was at the grocery store and they were like, yeah, it's a 55 inch TV for like 299 bucks. I'm like, I got a question. What's up, baby? Is it um, a Canadian normalcy to buy televisions from the grocery? <laughs> they just have them there. They have like electronics there for whatever. They yeah, have Tesco's shit at my grocery has... too, man. Yeah. Doesn't mean that it would ever cross my mind to buy something. It's like, oh look, it was they it, have it a was, new vacuum. Hmm. It was very cheap, and I thought about it for a minute, and I decided against it. It's like, do I need? Okay. Also, I did it's that like with the sound bar. I also, was walking also, past this, just like, oh, 30 pounds. Yeah, Let's no look it up on Amazon. the dumbest thing I've ever put at the grocery. I know there's something. <laughs> it's like, I looked it up on Amazon. Oh, it's 40 pounds on Amazon. All so, right, we're taking this one. <laughs> some, sometimes, though, sometimes if you, uh, if you hit up the drugstore, they got really good deals on electronics for no fucking reason. They get really expensive brooms. That was the first thing. I have a $14 broom. <laughs> because I needed a broom and everybody was closed. That had to have been on some stupid holiday. Broom. I was out of Price. broom. Okay, I got... Yeah, okay, that's like th two th pounds in Tesco's. <laughs> it was 14. As fuck me. So th this this came up this week. Then how much do you think an orange costs? Like a single naval orange? In Canada? Yes. A dollar. Um... They I, I would probably say between seventy nine pence and a buck thirty. In Toronto, yeah, all right. <laughs> An individually wrapped uh, thirty cellophane wrapped here. banana is seventy nine cents. <laughs> how much? How much does a banana cost? Ten dollars. <laughs> A single banana here is 60p. Okay, so that's about the same price. <laughs> so... Yeah, Aldi sells weird shit, but I expect that at Aldi. Aldi's like half grocery, half random weird shit stuff. Aldi sells uh, PCs. Gaming PCs. I believe that. With a case very much like the one that El Cheapo is currently in, just with a different brand. It doesn't say Inwin. It says whatever Aldi calls it. Sometimes I'll go to Aldi's <laughs> and like check out their veg, but I always make a trip down like the discount aisle at Aldi's because I'm like, okay, I gotta see what didn't sell. And there's always, like, it's like the most random shit too, which is pretty cool. I bought stuff at Aldi's that was like weird. <laughs> Hmm. See all these gaming no. PC. Uh, there you go. <clears throat> yep. Weather stripping. I bought weather stripping at all. <laughs> <laughs> do you, do you want yeah, to? this is the high end version. <laughs> Uh, it didn't put the preview there. Hold on. Let me get the picture. I can see it. Look at it. Oh, all right. <laughs> that looks YOLO. Yeah, that's a thousand pounds for an i5 with uh, oh, man. Oh, man. 2060. The, uh, yeah, <laughs> the, the indent on that case is 100% that like mm. the colon D like. <laughs> <laughs> all right. What are you guys doing that? We'll grab something to drink and we'll get good Jesus. Yeah, it's the it's the fucking colon D face. Jesus Christ. <laughs> the the two the two USB ports and I don't know what that thing in the middle is, but yeah. Hi Matt. Yeah, where's How's the other the case? snow? <laughs> Uh, I guess I don't have it anymore. That's a oh, they have we, them we in got, Germany. <laughs> in... Say, say that again. Germany. Spell that for me, please. <laughs> G-E-R-M-A-N-Y? No, that's more like G-E-R-M-C-H-N-I-N-I-I-E. <laughs> Germany. 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 <laughs> But yeah, no, um, this one, that, oh, God damn it. I didn't look at the link before I pasted it, but yeah, it works. Um, the, 
uh, yeah, that case, that's exactly the same case that uh, El Chipo is currently in. It's just blue instead of red, and it says um, Eraser <laughs> instead of Inwin. <laughs> <laughs> Noto Q, I've always had problems with uh, language. That's nothing new. <laughs> <laughs> you look like you want to say something, Jordan. No, I'm just watching it. <laughs> yeah, I didn't know uh, Inwin made cases for... Uh, other sellers to rebadge, but there we go. <laughs> they do, apparently. Erase me, senpai. <laughs> Thought it was a diseased tennis ball. Looks like a clementine. <laughs> Never mind. The new um, KDE music player, <laughs> or is that caffeine? No. I get confused. No. no, it's clementine with a C, not a K, Pedro. Yeah. <laughs> Man, that, if I if I ever get a job at like KDE. I would spearhead an initiative to slowly start changing all the K's to C's, even when they're not appropriate, <laughs> just to piss people off. Well, to be fair, uh, they seem to want to be called plasma nowadays, so you could just start replacing them with P's. See, both of you whippersnappers missed out on the in heydays, man, the late 90s, early, everything started with a K. Like, it wasn't even a joke. It was a joke. It just wasn't funny. It was just, it's like sorting by alphabet. Pointless. Pointless. <laughs> sort by K. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, I was just happy back in 2005 that I could get uh, Fedora with Gnome 2 up and running. I'm sorry, and don't you worked. mean Kedora? <laughs> right. I think Fedora Core 4, I think, that I got running on core, the core first laptop I had. <laughs> Kitty. We're live. And... Three, two, one. Welcome to the chair acquisition where well, the accused must I like your shirt. Thank you. Where the survive <laughs> where the accused must survive trial from Fedora, Neon, and Dip Wan. And then only then can a question be asked. Is it fun? This week we're taking a look at Danger Geezers, a game where you run around trying to shoot Jeffrey Epstein. No, it's Danger Geezers. <laughs> Too soon. Spelled by Shotek Studios, Don Game Maker. You can pick it up for about ten bucks. What is it? Danger Geezers? Danger Gozer the Gozerian is a post apocalyptic roguelite top down shooter where you pave your own path. The choices you make will decide your fate. It will either turn you into the new ruler or the ashes to be windswept away. The developers did send us some keys via Curator Connect, so I gotta thank them for that. Thank mm -hmm. you for the free stuff. Yeah. Shot X Studio. Dude. Free stuff. Good uh, stuff. So let, let's let's get into it. How did how did this shit work under uh, Debian, man? Boom! I didn't do circles. That's kind of brilliant. Uh, check this out, man. On Debian 10.2 over here with the Threadripper 1920X, 32 gigajoules of RAM powered by a 2060 displayed at UHD. Well, here's my first thought, kids. Is if you're going to make a bullet hell that doesn't work with a controller, yeah, that's still a thing. There's one thing you better get right, and that's... You know, locking the mouse cursor to the active window, which you will discover upon launch, this doesn't do. Now, Pedro will point out, there is an option, which is like uh, in the options menu, in sub-level <laughs> two of the options menu, which when enabled, uh, gave me dual 
10 cursors yes. that <laughs> flickered and seizured about. And after I picked myself up off the floor after a good jaunty <laughs> shake, I said, okay, so I'm not going to be able to use that because you, you have a crosshairs when you're playing the game and having two of those. You know, shit gets difficult. Um, also, you might consider making visible resolutions above 1080p available in the options menu as opposed to resolution, 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 up to 1080p followed by optimum, which I assume is 3840 by 2160 or whatever the max res display is for your monitor. So, makes with the working, you're getting dinged a chair for not capturing my dribble input. However, for the fun, let's talk about it. Here's the thing. I'm sorry, not sorry, but that soundtrack, am, am I alone with this, is atrocious. It's not oh, great. Oh yeah, no, it starts to great <laughs> quickly. Um, I, I To speak kindly of it, it is something of an unholy fusion of really bad chip tunes and jazz. So do, do with that what you will. If you can power your way through it, though, um, there's a action-ish like rogue, like light, like maybe. Because you do aim, you do shoot, you do get weapon upgrades, then you do die. Then you remember you have a special, then you die some more trying to use that. But right. at the end of the day, take that shot, ladies and gentlemen. The whole top-down, spinny, gun-y game thing, it's kind of been done to death, man. I don't know, man, I'm just a little worn out of it because this has been going on for a while. However, if you know that's still your jam and you like the roguelikes slash air quotes actually, you can put some Slayer on, maybe have a go with it. I mean, it's not terribly overpriced. Maybe kind of an interesting-ish concept. It didn't do anything, and it personally felt a little slow for, like, a solid action. I didn't like it. So I'm going to say one chip because I'm just going to be honest with you. Yeah, on uh, Fedora 30 64-bit with the i7 6700K, hyperthreading on, mitigations on, because I'm crazy. Uh, yeah, I, I I would very much like to play this game with the controller. Mother, <laughs> mother, the controller. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I can, yeah, <laughs> I, I I can adapt to like the the screen not locking my cursor, but just because I can deal with it doesn't mean you get a pass on it. Um, yeah, I mean, otherwise it just kind of, it kind of looks like a flash game to be honest. Um, and th yeah, that, that's really all I have to say about the functionality of the game. Fun wise, honestly, it's a mediocre shoot 'em up. Get two weapons. One of them has infinite ammo. One of them don't run around procedurally generated levels, you know, pew pew things. Uh, in between the levels, you can, you have like sort of branching pathways where you can go to stores or gamble to get extra health or ammo or what have you. You can pick up little bits of gear to aid you and give you bouncy bullets. Did you ever get stuck with like fuck upgrades for the entire run? It's like, everything's cursed. Like, yeah, the, the ones oh, yeah. that will kill your health. And then mm. I'm like, wait, why do I have like one hit left? <laughs> oh, oh. Yeah, and to uh, to your point then, yeah, you have, a, you have an ability mapped to your right click. Fuck if I ever remember to use it. Jesus. Well, I didn't realize until I was digging around. I, I played the game for like a good 20 minutes. And it's like, oh, thanks for mentioning that at any point ever, game. Yeah, like <laughs> this this dude that you're watching Pedro play has a shield. Mm -hmm. I completely forgot yep. about it, even though there's a bunch of times yep. I wanted to save my bacon. But like, yeah, <laughs> you, you, it's not it's not brought up. You don't remember it. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's yeah. At the, at the end of the, at the end of your little FTL map, you get a boss, you kill it. Uh, you maybe get a new infinite ammo weapon and then you move on and you rinse repeat forever and ever and ever and ever. I mean, it's done well enough, uh, for what it is. It doesn't bring anything new to the table. And if you like this sort of game, you know, maybe you can tolerate it. But if you're like me, you'll give it two cheers. It's just kind of me. Yeah. And over here on the uh, Ryzen 7 3700X with the GTX 1080 running on KD Neon. Yeah, the, the the game launch is just fine. There's a yeah, like Ven already mentioned, there's an option buried in the second page of the game options to lock the cursor to the window. I had no but idea that there was a well. second page, Pedro, until you put it yeah. in like, what? <laughs> it's not very obvious. There's like three dots there. It's like I can understand oh, what is why this? you oh. hit it because when you click on it, it flips the hell out. And you're like, Oh, maybe we shouldn't advertise that it does that. 
Yeah, I guess that's one of the issues that the uh, developer mentioned on the email uh, when uh, they said us the um, it's like, oh yeah, we sent you keys. Like, oh okay, cool. Um, but yeah, it it really doesn't work very well that particular option. Uh, the VSync option also doesn't work very well. It locks the game to sixty frames instead of actually syncing it to your monitor's V blank, which in my case is one hundred and forty four. Somebody so didn't that's get a lie. The one forty four round. Yeah, <laughs> it's been a while, uh, but uh, yeah, I'd like to. Um, I'd like to imagine like... that you're sitting there going, "It's so choppy." <laughs> uh, actually, it gets a bit jittery at points, but oh, wait, only every now and it. then, when but... the um, the like the frame timing isn't accurate, and yeah, though that V sync is just straight up a lie. Well, come on, Pedro. I mean, I expect it with my lowly twenty sixty. I, I, but then again, your ten eighty. Um, <laughs> Yeah. Yes, uh, the extra two gigabytes of VRAM. Uh, the no, the also uh, on the graphics, the sharp filter is just a lie. I'd like an option to disable the whole retro blur scan lines thing. Mm -hmm. I'd very much like that, but they don't give you one. Um, I don't mind the mouse and keyboard for the controls because that's how I played Enter the Gungeon, and I sunk over fifty hours into that, so that's fine. For the fun, though, uh, I like these kinds of games. I mentioned Enter the Gungeon just now, and while Danger Gazers is not that good, it certainly scratches that very same itch for me. Uh, the background music, yeah, like Ben was saying, it, it, it's bad. It, it starts to grate very, very quickly. 30 seconds, man. I was like, no. Yeah. <laughs> then I came it's... back to it. I was like, maybe, maybe it got, but no, it didn't. Okay. No, no, it didn't. Uh, Rose on you yeah, like a that... tumor. That is possibly the worst feature, and uh, followed closely by the animations, as in there are barely any. Uh, I wasn't a big fan of like the slow fire rate at first, but then I realized that that's deliberate, and they're doing that specifically to get you to realize it's like yes, the basic weapon you shouldn't be using it. You should be using the like the ammo weapons and collecting as much ammo as you possibly can. So that's fine. I get why they did it. Uh, the difficulty is very much there, and I, not once did I feel like I had a bullshit death. It was just my inability to actually cope with what was happening. All in all, I still prefer Enter the Gungeon, but this one's cheaper. So I give it three chairs. It's cheap and available, just like Pedro. Yeah. All right. Uh, got any last things we'd <laughs> I'm say I'm not before? available, but I am cheap. <laughs> Yeah, listen, you're available when I say you're available. Aww. Yeah, and, and, and any la any last words before we get out of here? Uh, I, I just wasn't feeling... I'm going to say good on you lot for um, throwing this up on the Pirate Bay. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yes. You can, you can, it, you that can, you bought can you a lot of good faith. Yep, no. Try before you buy. If you like it, you'll like it. If you don't, it's not going to change your mind about shmups. All right. Coming up next. Oh, Black Betty, Ram Jam, Blam. Oh, Black Betty. Oh, uh, that's Cut. where you decided to go Cut. with that. Cut. <laughs> Cut. Amber lamps. <laughs> oh, Black Betty. <laughs> the one song from Ram Jam. <laughs> you know, interesting, very music video-ish, considering, like, it was like when, like seventy six, when they shot that. Yeah, <laughs> it was like well done, well done. I mean, if you'd be like, oh, this is some hipster band that used the filter when they recorded, and like, <laughs> like yeah, right. yeah, it could have been done two years ago. Right. You wouldn't be able to tell I, the difference. <laughs> wouldn't have doubted you for a minute, and percent. <laughs> I don't, so I I took my headphones out at the gym the other day, and there was they were playing some song over the PA, and it sounded like someone was really trying to do an ACDC impression, but just couldn't get high pitched enough. Mm. <laughs> Maybe you'll know exactly who I'm talking about. Who's the band that uh, the lead singer is constantly doing Led Zeppelin? Oh, uh, Wolf Mother? Or something like that. Was it Wolf Mother? Well, or, um. Moon Wolf. Or, uh, there, 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 there are a couple that they're like, yeah, no, this is, this is straight up Led Zeppelin. Uh, this guy just straight up. There, there, uh, there's like one black key song that is straight up ripping off Stairway to Heaven. This guy does it with the vocals. Um, yeah. No one, no one watching us knows. So, ah. 
If I want to listen to Zeppelin, I'll listen to Zeppelin, right? <laughs> Nothing wrong with a good Zeppelin, unless it's called the, Heid uh, the Hindenburg. <laughs> the Hindenburg? What type of lettuce is that? I, th I, th I, th I thought that's like a stealth iceberg. It's a Hindenburg. Look out the Titanic. <laughs> You Vote.linuxgamecast.com. Save us, please. Dan Cook novel. Come on. <laughs> Come on, flesh marionette. Come on, flesh marionette. I was going to call it the Heisenberg, but then I realized, Rubble no, wait, that, that's a different one. <laughs> when you're not sure if the iceberg is there or not, and it's blue colored. <laughs> is that colored. the sky or is it... <laughs> It's Don't the Heisenberg again. uncertainty principle. <laughs> Heisenberg. Choo choo. Wait. Can you name another famous boot other than the Titanic anyway? Uh the Uh the Friday. Yes, it's Friday. The, the uh, Santa Maria. Uh, the, the Japanese, the, the uh Kusanagi. <laughs> the dreadnought was straight up a boat. Shit, what was the Titanic system? The Bismarck. Called? Yeah, the, Biz the Bismarck. Um. The good ship lollipop. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's a sweet trip to the candy shop. Oh, yeah, the... the, uh, Sagar, the Queen Mary. The uh, school ship for um, learning... Yeah, the, the, the Queen learning Elizabeth II, sailing. the cruise ship. The QE2. Yeah. <laughs> Enterprise is always a six, but... Yeah, there, there's a billion fucking <laughs> right. the USS Ronald Reagan. You can you can basically just pick a president. And I forgot a, about that one. Yeah. I wonder if there's the, the USS um, Richard Nixon. Another Japanese one, the Ayanami. <laughs> basically, I, I never, just pick an anime. Yeah, yeah, just pick an anime character. It's a ship name. <laughs> I never saw a warship with, su with such flappy gels. Yeah. <laughs> The, yeah, that one flies through space and has I, like I the did, beam I cannon. Didn't, listen, man, I heard famous ships. I didn't. They don't start throwing this. Oh, what's no, a no, flying? No, so, <laughs> so actually, so actually, the the plot of Galactica? space battle Yamato is they 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 re refurbished a submarine into a spaceship, and there was an actual Yamato mm. that fought for Japan in World War Two. Then I guess it doesn't count because it was a sub. Is a submarine a ship? I think a submarine is a ship. Is a ship. Uh, nah. <laughs> the Red October. <laughs> Sean Connery is not a boat, Pedro. <laughs> as much as we want him to be one, he isn't. <laughs> He's not a sandwich? You tell me this now. <laughs> I mean, listen, he enjoyed it while you thought so, but... <laughs> Is here, here's a new to poll for Twitch. Is is Sean Connery a sandwich? Yes or no? <laughs> That's Vote easy. now. You, you, no, you, you, you can make that a poll, man. Just go into the um, live studio. Oh and, yes, yeah, it's I'm a, a sandwich. <laughs> I, I put the poll widget up. It'll show up for anybody watching. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna... new poll. <laughs> Is Sean Connery a sandwich? Sabdwich? <laughs> Sandwich? Sandwich. Sandwich. The Sandwich. Yes. No. <laughs> All right. There we go. Put a pull up. Go vote. <laughs> go vote. Go vote now. Is, is Sean Connery a sandwich? Assassin's Creed <laughs> Origins, 75% off. Slash bar. Civ 6. Uh, Slay the Spire. Eh, there's nothing. Nino there. Kuni. I think genuinely the only thing I saw that was like... Nope. Oh, yeah. There's the Nino Kuni anime on Netflix now. What? Oh. Bless you. Oh yeah, Kakarot. I saw that. Yeah. Kakarot. <laughs> Apparently that one's just yep. okay. It's not online, so How's you that can going play it because yeah. yeah, you you don't have easy anti cheat. <laughs> yeah, I, I, it looks like it plays a lot like Xenoverse or Xenoverse Two. We're all right. Hmm. I've never. Oh, I played on an emulator. I played a SNES Dragon Ball something. It might have been a fighter. 
I played the uh, Saturn Dragon Ball. It was the uh, Freezer Saga, I think. Or did it go th all the way through? See, I don't remember. <laughs> Freezer was cooler, but cooler was Frieza. <laughs> <laughs> what was their dad called? King Cold. Yep. Cold, yeah. It and was their ancestor. Cold. <laughs> their ancestor was named Chilled. <laughs> I'm, I'm detecting a theme. <laughs> Frieza. Frieza. Kuda. <laughs> Frieza's mom was named Icebox. <laughs> Dude, I mean, speaking of DBZ abridged, man, when? When? More. Uh, they're, they're saying it's going to be a while. They're doing, like, uh, CG animated shorts. Yeah, they're doing a bunch of stuff. For, I mean... That, mm -hmm. I'm like, that, that's not one backing you on Patreon, but okay. I mean, so then don't back them on Patreon. They basically Yeah, but I'm allowed to that's... fucking voice my opinion. You are, but... Thanks, I just did. Good good job. Let's see. <laughs> I'm starting But the, I mean, they, they, put, they put out a video saying they were burned out on it, so, like, whatever. Mm. It's, it's, especially because, like, trying to keep it up on YouTube is a full-time job on in and of itself. Yeah. Because they keep, they keep getting claims. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Funimation or whoever currently holds the rights to re redistribute that in North America. Well, it's, it's not. It's not even that because like it's the YouTube friends automated with the guys bullshit. From, but yeah, they're <laughs> they're friends with the guys from Funimation. The Funimation guys love what they're doing because yeah. it's driving business to them. But yeah. all right, we're we're coming we're coming in on the end of this Sean Connery a sandwich pull. <laughs> And the results are in. It is a tie between yes and McLeod. <laughs> McLeod. Mm. <laughs> Man, they really should make a sequel to Highlander. They're pro look, they'd probably fuck it up. They probably would. You're right. <laughs> sexy teenage Highlanders. <laughs> Their sexy teenage problems and their sexy teenage katanas. Okay, I've watched like a full three seconds of the. I do know there was an animated Highlander. I'm like, what the fuck? Nope. That's that was yeah. the full experience I've had with that. There's there's I'll also a, the TV show. I have some rose tinted glasses for that one. There, I don't know there, if I want to go there, back and relive I, that. Rich Richie died recently from Highlander the series. You see, they can make a series about it. I watched that. Hell, I even tried to watch one episode of The Raven. Ooh, yeah. Yeah, it's like, ooh. <laughs> so um, so there, there, there was the Highlander cartoon, and then recently there was actually a Highlander anime that came out. Yeah. Okay, the anime I might need to check out. <laughs> to, uh, reluctantly to go. It, it can't be any worse than Stargate Infinity. <laughs> <laughs> the Search for Vengeance. Man, this shit's in 4x3. Oh, this you have the new. whole thing, Mir. All right. <laughs> um, yeah, this looks like hot nope. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, it, it, it's a good show. Most badass scene ever. In game. It's fictional shit. What? Strangest last meal request? Oh, it's on YouTube. Someone uploaded the whole thing to YouTube. How That's many surprising. sentences can you finish like that? I mean... YouTube, YouTube, YouTube. When was the last <laughs> time you watched an entire series on YouTube that wasn't supposed to be on YouTube? A couple of years ago now. It's like the entire series. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Probably Goblin Slayer. <laughs> okay, you can also put movie in there because that's what I'm thinking. I just uh, like. Oh, um, I saw um, the Langoliers. That, was that an... old old oh, movie Stephen King made movie. for TV. Yeah. 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 <laughs> back back when I saw it did that one on YouTube. Yeah. <laughs> I saw um, Battle Angel. Alita. Alita. That the anime was on, and I, I didn't. I mean, I was familiar with the source material. I didn't know they'd ever. And I was like, "Oh, what's that?" And I was like, "Ah, all right, if I gotta watch this." 
The first time I saw the uh, Battle Angel Alita anime was uh, on AMV Hell. Hmm. <laughs> YouTube Red series on YouTube? Well, I have YouTube Red and I don't, so. YouTube keeps trying to push the YouTube Red I give Red YouTube series money, and if you're wondering, it, does it stop them asking you to join the TV? No, it doesn't. <laughs> Because you need to give Google more of your money. Because YouTube is they not profitable to at all. They keep trying to push, like, the oh, YouTube Red exclusive series. I saw one episode of one of the series. It's like, this is shit. Goodbye. <laughs> Goodbye, Joe. If I wanted to watch reality TV, I'd be watching cable. <laughs> See, out of the corner of my eye, I read that as Teenage Mutant Ninja Batman. I was like, okay. I'll, 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 I'll watch the Mutant first. Teenage Mutant Ninja Batman. Teenage <laughs> Mutant Ninja Batman. <laughs> Half bad old teenager. It'll be so edgy in nineties. Just like regular Batman. Yeah. Ah, uh, they got Jorah Mormont to play uh, Bruce Wayne and uh, Titans. <laughs> the, that, that, that was the one good bit when he starts doing the bat to see I lost my shit yeah. <laughs> I'm like okay alright I see what you're going here you're going for an Adam West Batman it's like oh they straight up uh, when like that first episode rolls up it's like oh uh, Jorah Mormont is playing Alfred no 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 it's Bruce Wayne alright <laughs> moral of the story watch the Harley Quinn I'm a sweet little potato. I'm a little sweet potato. Starts right, right out with a lesson on HPV. Yeah. All right, Batman, can we talk about sex now? Goodbye, children. <laughs> Why, yes, Robin. <laughs> Who knows? Have you read this book, Seduction of the Innocent? <laughs> Okay, That's we're locked in and loaded. And boop. Okay, beautiful people, let's do this. Hate mail coming to you as soon as I get on the right turn. There we go. In three, two. And it's the end. Did you miss me? Nope. Well, I know for a fact that no. there were a couple of people that didn't miss me. Yes. You know, outside of these two. No. Uh, but, um, uh, yeah, if you did miss me or you are completely indifferent to me and you have something that you'd like to share with us miss me, go on over to uh, linuxgamecast.com and uh, hit the uh, contact button and send us some hate mail make sure LGC Weekly is the show that you're sending said hate mail to and uh, we will be thrilled that's a strong word, uh, to uh, feature your message right here, right now. You can do like Kyle did this week and uh, send us a question. Maybe you have some issue with something that we said during the show. You can do that too. Whatever. What? Nothing but dark thoughts that I'm not repeating, but as you were. <laughs> I'm, I'm, but yeah, no, uh, anything you'd like to add to what we said or that you think we got it wrong or literally anything that you'd like to say to us, that's how you do it. Fair enough. But hey, Kyle uh, had a thing to say. It's like, oh, oh, I'm building my first gaming PC in 12 years. Oof. I ditched Windows about eight years ago. I had a theory for improving load times and wondered if any of you guys uh, had tried it. The motherboard I'm waiting for is an X399, and I plan on loading as much RAM as possible, mounting a large chunk of RAM as a RAM drive. And make dear RAM disk mount T -T uh, TMPFS size uh, 551 uh, gigs, I guess. Um... Shadowing uh, the game files to the mounted uh, drive file and copy the contents back when closed. I've read that system memory is somewhere around 600 times faster than SSD and uh, have wondered if this would make any significant improvements in gaming. Just curious if you guys have tried something like this. I know this is a little outside of your podcast's usual content, but uh, when it comes to gaming on Linux, Linux Gamecast is the best. Ouch. See, see that, figured... that's how you fucking landed, Kyle. 
you got to butter us up <laughs> right at the end when I'm like, hurry the fuck up. Oh, look, he said something nice. Okay, keep going. Yeah, I figured I'd ask while I'm waiting for my parts to arrive. So, yeah, I, it, it I, will I, speed up your load times. Absolutely. But so, some some of your load times, because I, I actually have some experience with this. Because <laughs> once upon a time when I'm like, I have 32 gigs of RAM in my system, I'm going to dick around with this. See, the thing that takes the most time when you're firing up a game for the most part is shader compile. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. That's, that's going to be the thing that causes you to wait. Uh, or if you're running stuff through Proton, sometimes there's a bit of a Proton tax when it comes to loading the actual stuff. Good rule of thumb, and good rule of thumb with Proton. It's been around a few times. Um, yeah. Yeah. Let yeah. me just um, say this. Uh, uh, allow me to tell you about our Lord and Savior, NVMe. Yes. <laughs> it, do- it doesn't help with load times as much as you would think. No. Um, typically, load times, gaming performance, not really. I mean... Once you're on an SSD, that's about as good. You know, I'm going to say between an SSD load and an NVMe load, you're looking at the difference of like, eh, is that about accurate? Ma- yeah, maybe yeah. about like <clears throat> a fourth of a second. And mm-hmm. if that, because if you're already running SSDs, like SAT SSDs, and you're running a good one that's got like 500 and something megabytes per second reads then your loads are already going to be pretty much up there even if you change to a pci uh fourth gen um by four or by eight um, gen, nvme um, ssd yolo raid nvme and yeah <laughs> you, you might be a second faster might be yeah you might be getting a second faster on that uh, initial load time but that's about the, it. the 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 other thing too is you're going to be waiting a while for copying uh your games <laughs> to the ram disk it's and it's going to be a thing you have to do on boot you're going to have to script it it's going to be a while mm. yep. it introduces a lot of complications that are you the, the gains are going to be pretty minimal ram drives i yeah i mean as soon as we broke like that Gigabyte a second barrier within the mm-hmm. is like yeah, RAM drives just kind of lost their appeal. RAM RAM drives are useful, say on laptops if you can get a laptop with thirty two gigs of RAM or even sixteen, and you can afford to spare like half of that to load a game entirely into RAM. Then yes, or if that you're will... or if you're running a game server, those absolutely yeah, do help. It, that will server. completely eliminate the uh, disk access latency and everything else, uh, but. Yeah, it's a it's, it's it's a strategy that a lot of Minecraft servers end up using. Uh, yeah. But yeah, I mean, if you if play around with it, send us some hate mail, mm-hmm. tell us your results, maybe run some benchmarks. Yep. This is kind of the beautiful love, thing. I we mean, would love to feature them. If you're going to be stacking like 32, 64 gigs of memory RAM in the first place, and you're doing that because you want to, it doesn't even cost you anything. I think what we're all saying is, don't buy extra memory in order to for try to achieve anything specifically. From this. No. Yeah. <laughs> Buy it for bragging rights or you want like symmetrical RAM in your thread ripper because it looked weird with just one over there. But for like real <laughs> professional reasons like that. And uh, <laughs> yes. or, or or just running a shit ton of VMs, just a metric fuck. This ton is of VMs. true. Yeah, um, if you want to be running your entire server farm of a single machine. Yeah. <laughs> it'll be kind of brilliant. Hey, uh, scream at us next week. Let us know what you got going on. But until then, we need to cue the music. You can always find us around 7.30 Eastern Standard Time where we're live in our Discord for our beautiful party patron. Doing that thing we do. Um, Come say hi. Participate. It is interactive. Then we go live for the general masses at 8.30 Eastern. Punch that into Google. It'll be like, what's up, fam? If you want to get a hold to me, I'll be on Twitter at... Vinstone, I think. That's where I'm at. Or mass.linuxgamecast.com. I'm just at Vin, because we got the Mastodon thing that I occasionally remember to post to. Ha. Ha. I'm Jordan Spung. I am running on exactly 64 kilobytes of RAM, and you can fill that up with garbage by sending me stuff at the Burning Fool on Twitter. Or if I ever bother to check my Mastodon, I'm Frojo at mass.linuxgamecast.com. Hang on. I'm, I'm going to make him do it. Uh...
That's on his horny Twitter. <laughs> <laughs> I know, but he was talking the entire time. It was kind of brilliant. <laughs> when you're in the circle, you're silent, Pedro. Learn it. There shall be no silence. The box Not as long as I'm circle. around anyway. I'm going to roll some credits because I'm an adult. <laughs> I mean, you could drop satisfying, but that's otherwise accurate. Yeah, optimism, <laughs> man. I have high goals for 2020. Yeah. <laughs> That's a disappointment well, if I ever heard one. <laughs> episode Clickle V we got brought to you by our Patreons, our executive producers like Arthur and Mr. Fox Dog Empty, Tom McCass, Mike G. Barbara, Adelius Hoplo, Mackie, Abelius, and Ab Abizu. He's he's the Jill devil. and Steve. It's been a minute since we've mentioned them. Like System T, <laughs> Linux Zoo, Master Dark, David S, Pablo, Gaius, Matthew. You know, uh, Grayson, Jack, um, Mini Jack, Mini Jack. Jack and Jack and Mini Jack, Gun, Belric, Carl, <laughs> and what, what? the 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 people on the fuck wall oh, right shit. behind Ben. God damn it! There. Ha. <laughs> Can you read? Yeah, fuck like, wall. <laughs> no, <laughs> still 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 can't read it. Still can't make I can see the Mike so G the and hit yeah, mail, Basil. Okay, all right. get on that freak. Fix it. You and your wacky llama flavored sweater. All right. Stop <laughs> eating rockers, Frank. Dynavire. Hang on. Peace. Don't wait credits. <laughs> Bye. Bye. <laughs> boop. And boop. So the sound went to shit apparently at some point. No. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Both uh, Mr. Alert and Maddie were like, yeah, it's No, quiet. Mr. Alert pointed out that there was no audio when you're in a circle. <laughs> Which is why it's the circle of silence. <laughs> How many times? <laughs> Circle of I, silence. I, I Pedro's like, Gavin's yeah, just fucking with me. He's like, have you met me? <laughs> I'm more than willing to put silence out on the stream. They're like, go ahead. Keep talking. It, if, I, if I had to pick an image to describe Ben, it's that one from It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia where it's Frank holding the two guns. It's like, anyways, I started blasting. <laughs> right? Except, anyways, I started muting. Everyone's constantly... There's a three millisecond mute on everyone. It's called a compressor. Compress. <laughs> Compress. All right. Speaking of compression, I'm gonna go, compress go decompress yourself. my spine. Yep. Oh god. Ah. <laughs> that was worth it. That, that's my reward at the end of every show. <laughs> <laughs> Keeps me coming back. Um, half a brain. Hmm. So how many NVIDIA boxes do you have, Pedro? Just the one. <laughs> Ooh, right, 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 right. That, that's the only box you have laying around post-move. I could have kept the one for the 1050 Ti that's currently in uh, Nori's box, but... Mm -hmm. uh, Nori has a 1050 Nori's Ti box. in her box, huh? Yes. <laughs> okay. uh, but yeah, since it is in her PC, it's like, okay, here's the box. It's like, it's going to the bin. All right, fine. <laughs> it's not my card. It doesn't deserve to stay around like junk. <laughs> no, no, that was her decision. It's like, no, it's just going in the bin. All right. Okay. Cool. I have a very valid reason <laughs> for holding on to um, boxes because you're happier when I give you something. <laughs> I'm like, listen, it has the manual and shit in it, too. People are always happy about that. And it's easier to give junk away. Yeah. 
Yeah, like, hey, look. It's <laughs> if you want to just give it. it to someone, it's like, oh, look, there's a neat little box. <laughs> Unless I detect that you're a hoarder, then no junk for you. <laughs> Seriously. Uh, is it a foldable computer? Because that was the thing at CES this year. It's like, oh, look at all the foldable laptop type of things. Like, all laptops are foldable? That's like uh, the whole thing? Yeah, but <laughs> Microsoft had one. I was like, now we're talking a prototype where it's just screen and screen. Yes. Where it has the keyboard that you can move. And I'm like, yes, yes, because then I get big screen. And if I need to type something, I can do the little fold thing. Touch type, mm -hmm. touch swipe. Dual swiping. Because the two screens, that's not new. You had the Lenovo Yogas uh, that had the well, two screens. Well, this is just one screen. Yeah, it's just one screen that you fold. <laughs> it doesn't have a crack down them, though. Yeah. <laughs> I can wrap it around the face better, and there's not like. <laughs> As one does. <laughs> Don't laugh at my customs. I shall not mock the traditions of your people, no. <laughs> my traditional, mildly blinding customs. <laughs> so, Witcher 2, that's a game. I've never played it before, and I'm um, three, three and a half, possibly four hours into it. I gave up, like, after two hours, because like, no, I can't, no. Mm -mm. I, I'm Not taking my, my time with this, because I... <laughs> fair enough, if you just cut everything on 11, it still looks good. Yeah. It still looks good. Plays great. I, I remember being pissed off when uh, virtual programming, or... CD Projekt Red put out the port because it's mm -hmm. like, oh yeah, I played this game in regular wine on the calculator mm -hmm. back in the day, and all of a sudden I can't play this native port. The fuck? No. <laughs> I mean, it launched <laughs> different spike crash, and you know a lot of people are unfamiliar with it because simply because they they didn't play the initial version. Because, mm -hmm. to their credit, I guess, they virtual program it many months later, you know, let's cut to that screen. It, they mm -hmm. got it to a less spite crashy version that technically would run. And um, that's what you got to experience. Like, the first month, that thing, there was no point. It was just like, boom, yep. boom, boom. That's <laughs> if you could get it to run. Now, it runs like butter. Proton. Proton. <laughs> playing it playing it with Vulcan. Yeah. <clears throat> D9 VK, baby. I remember I tried the first Witcher. Um, also, another game that I played like an hour or two of, and I said, nope, that's enough for me. Mm. I played it just because it used the Aurora engine, the same engine as Neverwinter Nights and Knights of the Old Republic. Mm -hmm. I was like, yeah, I mean, I like the other two games. Let's try that. Oh, God. No. No, 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 no. <laughs> Which do look like is going to be interesting. There's some crafting and bullshit in there that I'm not too fond of. The only thing I'm worried about, Witcher 2, is... See Arthur and... <laughs> finishing it. Dying fire. Because then I'll want to play Witcher 3. <laughs> and I morally cannot purchase Witcher 3 for myself. Yeah, um, one of uh, Nori's um, classmates in university, she's well into gaming, and um, she usually uses Nori as a proxy to talk to me, because um, she's into, like, PCs and gaming and that? stuff. Yeah, yeah, she just wants to smash her. <laughs> no, she doesn't. She's just because oh, of the gaming stuff. Not you. <laughs> It's just that uh, she straight up said, "It's like, no, I want to kill, uh, I want to kill Pedro so I can have his Steam library, because <laughs> she did added you, me on did, Steam." Did you bother to inform her what is required? No, she added me on Steam. And it's like, oh, that's uh, yeah, that's that's my classmate from university, so I accepted her. It's like, you have over a thousand games on Steam. What the <laughs> fuck? 
<laughs> she reminded you of all those dick pics you sent me like yo so here's my wish list <laughs> No. <laughs> not hearing an immediate no to that, that There rumor. was that. <laughs> no, Let's Nori, I bought rumor. her those games because she was my old classmate. <laughs> but, uh, no. Uh, she, uh... She bought The Witcher 3 after watching The Witcher series on Netflix. Mm -hmm. And she's like, this is not a very good game. It's like... You've played a bunch of Skyrim, haven't you? It's like, yeah, yeah, I can see why you'd say that. <laughs> the only, the biggest difference between The Witcher and Skyrim is The Witcher has like climb up, climb down, and invisible walls. Yeah. I don't know about Witcher Three, <laughs> but like you, you just can't go up something in The Witcher, like a ladder or a cliff that you clearly will go up. You have to go up to it, wait for the game logic to finish processing to give you a prompt. Then you can hit the button, wait for the game logic, go, oh, now I'm going to climb. You better not be in a fucking rush, is what I'm saying, or you will dead quick. <laughs> also, the game doesn't expect the Venn maneuver, which is the YOLO and just run past all the enemies. <laughs> Wasn't counting on that. I'm like, listen, I don't have to fight these things. I can keep running, which saved me a lot of time. To be fair, that was a valid strategy in uh, the first two Witchers, so, yeah. Well, I'm playing the second one. <laughs> so. And uh, The Witcher 3 is a game that uh, if someone gives it to me, I might try it, but mm, really not. From I what care. I get out of Witcher 2, I'll probably... <laughs> try it and I'll probably enjoy the fuck out of it because I'm really enjoying The Witcher too. Not my type of thing. Oh, it's 100% your type of thing. No, it isn't because if I want to play an MMO I'll play an online one not a single player one. <laughs> the Witcher is effectively Skyrim, man. Yeah. I mean, going, <laughs> oh, you know what, I love y. Skyrim, but Witcher, that's too different. Kill Get X fucked. amount of Monster Y for this NPC and then go back. <laughs> A fetch quest? No, oh, none of that in Skyrim. No, sir. It's what I always say about Skyrim. No <laughs> fetch quest. That's why I'm sticking with it. <laughs> Witcher 3 is more Morrowind than Neverwinter Nights Online. You know what? Here's the biggest difference between Witcher, <laughs> Witcher 2 and Skyrim. There's actually a fighting system in Witcher. <laughs> yeah, Skyrim, Skyrim really does lately. remind you of a multimedia online role-playing game with a doop, <laughs> doop, <laughs> doop. Only slightly exaggerated. <laughs> Very good there, Mr. Daylight. <laughs> the Witcher is the Oblivion of Dark Souls. <laughs> I like Oblivion and... Eh, well, I didn't mind Oblivion and um, I very much like Dark Souls, so... Okay. <laughs> Listen, I'm enjoying my time playing as Geraldo of Rivendale, protector of Milfgard. All right? Toss a coin to your witcher, O oh, Valley of Plenty. Doesn't oh, bother me at all. Of plenty. Nope. Ooh. <laughs> Doesn't even fucking phase me. It's just like, oh, that's some hippie <laughs> shit, isn't it? <laughs> um, I was like, oh, it's stuck in my head. <laughs> like, you didn't drink <laughs> enough as a child. Um. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, no, it, at one point, like, after I watched the whole show, it's like, yeah, no, now that song is stuck in my head. God damn it! Nope. The, um... I enjoyed the show. Mm-hmm. It was, well, I mean, I obviously enjoyed the show. I finished it in one afternoon, and I was like, yeah, done with that. <laughs> yeah, no, um, watching Superman play Geralt... Of Rivia? Yeah. Yeah. Geraldo of Rivendell. 
Oh, you're in, you're in for a treat if I ever stream it. I'm going to fuck everything up like that, too. And, like, with authority. <laughs> I'm kind of with my own backstory. It's like, yeah, look in my eyes. We're clearly part kitty cat. <laughs> so they can see better in the dark. Okay, Listen, fair. <laughs> um, I, I, I'm, I'm actually just saving some stuff. Damn. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I don't want to spoil that. All right, hang on. I might actually use that. Here's a fan film better than... Uh, why don't you go back and watch the original TV series? Yeah, the Polish one. Yeah. You want to get old school. Oh, there was an article. They had a bunch of, um, like, videos of people comparing scenes from the Netflix series and the old Polish show. Mm -hmm. <laughs> What do you think we need to do? Um, okay, it was originally... Didn't they break it up into a series? It was originally just one... Like, two-hour-long film, right? I thought it was the other way around. I thought it was... Um, or it was a bunch they, of series they, they, that they stuck together? Yeah, they, they had, like, a season of, like, the, the TV show that they chopped together to make a movie. They, they do that a lot um, mm. for, like, made-for-TV stuff, especially in the 80s. But I guess Polish TV this in like the, the late 80s. 90s. Mm. Well, Pol Polish TV in the late 90s has progressed to American television in the 80s. So. You hear that, Canada? Get on it. <laughs> <They're still up. sighs> we're, we're, we're capable of like producing one show at a time, and it's actually okay, but you only get the one. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> and it's subtitled in French. And everything else is just American companies producing shows in Canada because it's cheap. Yeah. <laughs> oh, absolutely, absolutely! Like if if you if you watch anything that Amazon has put out recently, that shit's filmed in Toronto. <laughs> the Expanse, The Boys. What? I thought most American cities were just Toronto. No, I... they're Vancouver. Oh, <laughs> it was like Vancouver, House Toronto, <laughs> Vancouver, man. Like, hello, welcome to New York, Coover. I, I I would watch that fucking movie, Show House Coover. Flying Vancouver. It's just full of hipsters and lost cougar. <laughs> Hipsters and Hell's Angels. That, that's that's Vancouver for you. <laughs> that's an interesting mix. <laughs> well, one ride motorbikes and one ride fixed gear bikes. Coopers. <laughs> Fixies and motorbikes. All right, we're going to do something that's right always there. a horrible idea. And we're going to light up the after shows. And if you want to hop on, feel oh, free to. Shit. I'm not going to twist your arm. It. What? What'd you God do? God damn it. Prove it. Oh, no. You get Prove no it. such thing. You, you gotta find the proof yourself. That's on you, man. What are you, a cop? Yeah, what are you? <laughs> Not cop. I'm Always the fun cop. police. I'm the fun popo. You're trying to be. Einstein's laser sword, or whatever it was called. The onus of proof is on whoever is making the claims. <laughs> Where was this Einstein's laser sword shit when we had Valid show title? <laughs> I don't remember what it's called. I've been down with that. Yeah, that's, that's uh, instead, of, instead of a philosophical razor, we got a philosophical laser sword. Laser sword, man. Oh, dude, the laser sword in the my, my My favorite part of a, my favorite thing about George Lucas is that to this day, he calls lightsabers laser swords. Fuck yeah. Did he do it, or did his neck call it that? Yes. Okay. I mean, George Lucas, his neck is basically him these he's days. He's part man, part neck. Um, oh, it's he's, Hitchens he's, Razor. He's, okay. He's part man all Shut neck. up. It's Laser Sword. <laughs> <laughs> no, Hitchens it's, it's Razor I, is the only laser proof mm. stands with those uh, making the claims. Medieval. All right, what would you rather have, Laser Sword or Razor Sword? It's made entirely of a PC mouse. Nice. <laughs> a razor mouse, okay. <laughs> but it's a sword. Well, 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 with with edgelord's powers so sharp, it could cut through anything, right? It's not wireless either, so you got to figure out what the fuck to do with all those USB dongles. <laughs> no, like it, it won't even cut anything until you plug them all in. In all fairness, they're braided, so they won't tangle. True, because they're, they're pre-tangled. It's more like the razor flog. <laughs> It's like, what, what, what's 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 that Japanese weapon where it's like the comma and the the ball on the chain? 
Oh, um. Uh, the the schoolgirl in Kill Bill had one. Yes. Mm. Something gamma. <laughs> Spiky ball chain. Spiky ball chain. <laughs> They made a, they made a magic card out of it too. Um, I do no remember razor that. Sword. It's one of those farming implements with a chain and morning a morning stars? star on the end. Well, that sounds like a lot like a mace. Um, a morning star is like <laughs> medieval. I think. What? Yeah, the morning yeah, star uh, is a flail with a spiky that? ball. Uh, oh, okay, it's it, it, it's called the kasari gama. Ah. That's what it is. A chain sickle. Got a weighted ball on one end and a and a sickle at the other end. Yeah, it's a farming implement with a chain and a morning star. <laughs> what do we take into the most, store most weapons. Do we, most do weapons? Do we want to drive the car? Do implements. we want to drive the truck, or, or are we taking the chainsaw? <laughs> I'm taking the chainsaw. I'm gonna ride that to the ends of the earth. It's no <laughs> meat motorcycle, but a chainsaw will do in a pinch. Well, it's no, it's no mayo cycle either. <laughs> Hello, Pennywise. Oh, look, there's a Mayo Psycho. Hello, humans. <laughs> Hello, humans. Hello, Ben Mints. <laughs> I needed a freaking life alert earlier. I took a spill down my step. Oh, Did you no. fall and then you couldn't get up? Yep. I slipped at the <laughs> Did top. you hit your coccyx? <laughs> <laughs> I slipped at the top of a half story high flight of steps and just freaking went down all the men kept sliding oh that's horrible so oh, you're, it was a, it was okay. a um, short story uh, <laughs> here all night ladies and gentlemen <laughs> try the shrimp <laughs> I'm just gonna start oh. chanting USA for no reason um, <laughs> USA USA <laughs> Oh, that, you know, you know, okay, that, 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 yeah, that, that is one aspect of like blind American patriotism. I love that you could just start shouting USA and it doesn't fucking matter. Yeah. <laughs> USA, USA, USA. Everyone USA. chimes in. They're like, why are you chiming in? Shut up. Just do it or they'll bomb you. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much. What? Don't you like freedom? Yeah. Uh, okay. World That's War Ill III Eagle. hashtag. <laughs> Hello, Claudia. Which Claudia? All right, I need the, to. The, the Claudia um, with the distorted voice. I'll be back. It's advanced oh. sound technology. <laughs> it's kind of hyper for Claudia Schiffer there for a second, but nah. Claudia Schiffer, didn't she finally turn 60? <sighs> I, you know what? I could not like picture in my mind who Claudia Schiffer is. I, I know the either. name. I know the name. Yeah. Yeah. The, the, I know the name, and I know to associate it with like model, but that's possibly. Yeah. yeah. I don't know if I'd gotten as far as model. I, I would have said like actress. I can, and only because I've seen Wayne Dwell two so many goddamn times. So. Claudia. Well, that, that's that's yeah. that's Jerry Ryan. I mean, she kind of <laughs> looks like Jerry Ryan. Okay, so she's like, says she's 400 years old. What? Okay. That tracks. <laughs> I bathe in the blood of virgins, and it keeps me young looking. Yes. Mm. Okay. <laughs> All right. She, yeah, she is 49 years old this year, apparently. Next year, in 2021, she will be 50. Okay. And she's Aww. apparently... Yep, Ger German supermodel and actress. She was in Zoolander as Zoo uh, not Zoo <laughs> Zoolander. She was oh. in Zoolander as Derek Zoolander. Damn. All right, actor extraordinary. Um, yeah, I have five hours in Witcher too. All right. You're gonna have to add me to Family Share, Jordan. The Family Share? So I don't have to buy Witcher three in case I end up. Like oh, I have a... Uh, my, mine's, mine's the GOG version. I can just send you it. Oh, no. Nope. That's cheating. <laughs> See, this is like the... Um, DRM the free, baby! The task, baby, is like if I... I I'd like Witcher 2. It's kind of fun. And I was like, shit, I gotta be careful playing this because then I'm gonna want to play the next one. It's like, fuck, can't buy it out of principle. The, tr the trick is to find a GPU that comes with a free copy of it. Yeah, right. Buy that. 
You know where you can get a 1080 for cheap? Good for thing mine came with a free copy of Apex Legends. Uh, no, I'm not making that up. Um, it's only available on the EA store or whatever the fuck it was. Origin? Yeah, some shit like that. Can't make that up. Yeah, no, my uh, my, my Witcher 3 is a dog copy, so... Mm. It doesn't have enough DRM on it for me. Gotta, gotta install easy anti cheat in it to, mm. just for fun. I had such a crush on 709 when I was a kid. Aww. When you were a kid. Oh, yeah, right. I, for, I forget. Yeah. All of you were babies. <laughs> oh, my God. I, oh, I'm sorry. I'm young. I'm only 35. I, 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 I mean, I when, I when I grew up, it was Troy, so. Yeah, that's because you were in Canada and they were about a decade behind. No, that, oh, no, that's because I was four years old when I got started. <laughs> <laughs> It's not when, not only that. 1990. Uh, it was William Shatner and Larry Moy. <laughs> I hear that. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> William Shatner's a sexy beast. When did uh, TNG first mm -hmm. do? TNG was like 87. <laughs> 87. Mm. October uh, 7th, 1987. Yeah, well, I'll have you know that TNG first air date. Touch and go e wallet. Touch and go e wallet. Yep. TNG. <laughs> Touch and go. <laughs> I, listen, I don't I, I, oh, I, 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 I don't question the Google. The Google's like, yo, son, check this out. <laughs> it's like, fair enough, Google. <laughs> All right. That's who left well, generation so, so okay, okay. Yeah. So that's, that's that's like the sponsored one though, right? Like, because the next immediate result is Star Trek: The Next Generation. So, what was the first <laughs> date, Jill? Was time? Um, actually, it was it was October seventh here in Los Angeles is is when it premiered. So a week later. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> So, originally aired from September 28th, 1987. 178 episodes. So, seven years, not too bad. No, oh, it was on for oh, a yeah. It was on long enough to where I stopped watching it, and I remember, like, wait, that's still on? Yeah, it did kind of drag on at the end, though. Yeah. But, uh... Uh, a bunch of honestly, us from honestly, I felt like... went to a viewing party. <laughs> it was fun. There, 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 there were clusters of like really good episodes near the end, but then there are some that are just like time wasty. Yeah, yeah. But, but at the same time, like you have a year to write fucking twenty two to twenty six stories because mm -hmm. those were long seasons too. Those were like some some of them got up there. I think some of them were like twenty eight episodes or some shit. Oh yeah. Well, I mean, oh, yeah, there's also the fact that episodes. some of them were mm -hmm. just straight throwaway episodes. They're like, "Fuck, we gotta get one out." <laughs> yeah, we 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 gotta we gotta, yeah, we gotta get one out the door. Uh, this other um, one's not finished. Uh, let's quickly pull one out. Basil, DS I, this is something I've parroted uh, multiple times. That for me, when I rank uh, anything Trek related, DS 9s at top. DS 9s pretty solid. I don't say that like, oh, that's gonna piss off the Trek. I'm like, no, for me, that I thought that was like. Oh, hey, look, we're not any ship flying the fuck around. We're actually going to have a You want to piss off the track. Trekkies? You want to piss off the Trekkies? You say that Discovery is the best. <laughs> oh, no, 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 baby. I, 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 I come, like, with straight up unleaded fire. Second Enterprise. <laughs> yeah, well, I love Enterprise. Enter yeah, Enter Enterprise took a while to, like, get good. But to be fair, that's most Star Trek. Most of Star Trek take yeah. like a season or two to really get going. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, it's like third, se show, third, really. third season Enterprise is damn solid television. That mm -hmm. was something we hadn't seen before in Star Trek. Season four was pretty good because you're like, okay, well, here's the beginning of the Federation, and then they got canceled. And then well, we then we, then we got starring DA, not even de-aged Jonathan Frakes and Marina Sirtis. Right. No, oh, I know that Red was so depressing. Enterprise that ending. It, was, it was so bad. If, the tie-in novels read Condit. They're like, yeah, he had to fake his death so that he could go work for Section Thirty One. That's, yeah. that's which we're still getting that series. And you know what? I, I'm I really enjoy Discovery. That's good. I know. Um, 
Bunch... I, I enjoy Discovery as well. Yeah, I, I think it's I, like, okay, let's actually bring this into... I'm not you know... a big Star Trek fan, and Discovery is very much Well, this watchable. is the old thing. It's like, let's aim for an under-50 audience. Ooh, <laughs> guess what? People... My... And... my, my... My only, my only real problem. Ev everything else descends from this root cause. Okay. My only problem with uh, Discovery is that when it comes to those last episodes, man, the last episodes of the season, they get <laughs> they this wonderful build up, quick, yep. and then they just completely shit the bed. They, this is gonna get it lined up. <laughs> you know, where I land on the original series is, I'm like, oh, that's like uh, nostalgia, but it's like I understand why they got canceled. Yeah, T T TOS was rough, and I, I think it's a lot more like you can see the ideas here. You can see what they were trying to do. Oh, yeah. They just couldn't do it on the budget. They, they had, had good ideas, and they, they were actually dealing with like some social political bullshit like back oh, in the yeah. day. And I was like, good on you lot for doing that. But I can also see from like, yeah, some stuff didn't land. But TNG was fine. I mean, I really like enjoyed it. There was just so much of it. T TNG was yeah. my Star Trek growing up, and that that's why I like it. Same. Mm. Same. It was my one. Yeah. Voyager. Yeah, TNG Voyager's problem. Had, um... oh, oh. Jill, if you start a sentence, it's polite to finish. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, I wasn't trying not to interrupt Jordan. But well, you, um, you can... the amazing oh. thing with TNG is, is again, like uh, Star Trek was always amazing about, is having more than 20 episodes per season. And, you know, today's shows, it's unthinkable, but they don't do that anymore. But I know the production value then, is that too was, high and the scripts are too well written. <laughs> <laughs> it was, they, they were churning Production value, out. sure. Like, scripts? <laughs> yeah. Well, what would you rather have, though? I mean, you, I think that's one of the things that made Sherlock so fucking great. Okay, you very could, very high production value, but then when day. you actually like, I mean, drill if you into had it, any like... kind of consistency with this, like, okay, we have a season every other year or a season every three years. I was never accustomed to, like, I don't really like. There's not many shows I would currently watch that would have like twenty episodes a series. I mean, these shows still get made. No. They're called NC something S. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, there's them, but even then, yeah. there's only like ten. And NCSX. Yeah, yeah, right. X <laughs> fill in the variable. That one. Yeah, there's there's NCIS something, CSI something. Um, what's the other yeah, one? Oh, NCIS. Um, uh, LA order. that has um, um, a Portuguese actress, Daniela Hua. Yeah, okay. I know her. Yeah. <laughs> my my my, fa my favorite part of NCIS is where they got the uh, the Hispanic lady to play the Israeli Mossad agent. That was pretty good. Yes. Also, yes. All, all, also, also the, the the two hackers one keyboard thing was pretty hilarious. Mm. <laughs> oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> to be fair, oh, on that same um, show, they dropped the uh, but then I took an arrow in the knee joke because of Skyrim. They were so relevant <laughs> with the times that show. I mean, this 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 is television aimed at like. 45 plus, right? Yeah, so at that point, it's just directors just going, yeah, let's have some fun for TV. Well, it's <laughs> network television, too. Yeah. I mean, like, yeah, yeah, we've yeah, had yeah. things <laughs> ratcheted up to such a degree. Okay, this is another theory. Okay, here we go. More uh -huh. shit you're not concerned about or think. Um, <laughs> this, this might be one of the issues I have with, like, Doctor Who, because we roll back even... Okay, we could say two series ago, which in Doctor Who time is damn near a decade ago. Mm -hmm. <laughs> because, yeah. hey, yeah. fuck it, let's take three years off. Hey, fuck it, let's take two more years off. Um, it was really good television at the time. Now we fast forward to 2020. Almost everything's really good television right now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. There's so it's yeah. not like yeah. you're not seeing like the disparity between, okay, well, shit, this is good effects. Good. It's like, yeah, then better shit in Netflix. Oh, yeah, yeah. You have in, when you in, have in, stuff like The Witcher and The Mandalorian, and The Expanse, yeah, and like The Expanse. Um, <laughs> yeah, Doctor Who's got some catching up to do. Well, I got a bit distracted so, by so, this so, Doctor so, Who. So, so, so here, 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 here <laughs> I think here, here would be my advice to Doctor Who. Okay. At this point, at this point, they what's not babes. I, I mean, t take take it for fucking what it's worth, right? This is my opinion. Uh, Doctor Who 
really, really, really needs to lean into the camp. Like, they can't do serious anymore. There are shows that will do it better. You just got you gotta lean hard into camp and make it make it like super genuine, but make it goofy as shit. And I think that's that's the way forward. I also well, show more Linux machines. That's good. Just just lean into distracted. like the rubber monster sci-fi shit. Just like make it go nuts. I would like them to get back to a like a darker story. Yeah. And continuation, like an actual story, because we, we got a full also the new companions, sorry Grant. Sorry, sorry kids. I, I give zero fucks about them at this point. Yeah, at this point, no. I yeah, think, even I think the past series is it's like... A, what it is, oh, is it, it's a companion There's no real trigger. connection. Well, it's that. Yeah. It's like, we, we've already done the three companion thing. It got old. I, yeah. Uh, you know you know what? Gra Graham's snark, I like. Maybe Graham. Yeah, I'd like okay, keep Graham. Like Graham can hang Graham. out with the rest of them. I mean, yeah, I mean, keep Graham. Yeah. Keep the old like, man. Yeah. Okay, here's, okay, you, you, here's you know, a you know fair who, fucking you know point right here, man. Graham's the only one I could name. Yeah. Do you know who you know who Graham <laughs> reminds me of? I got my Gra other day. Graham reminds me a lot of like Jack O'Neill and just like the he will just uh, verbally abuse and torment the like aliens and whatnot. George, like, next year, fuck you. Uh, new companion, Richard Dean Anderson. <laughs> <laughs> I, I mean, I mean, is, is, is the TARDIS wheelchair accessible? <laughs> yeah, or, like ras rascal accessible? <laughs> oh dear, it's awesome. They, they're going uh, trips to the grocery together. Yeah, <laughs> let me get another beer. I'll be but back. But yeah, just just I I I I I like the I like the snark. I wish more companions like yeah. were less like, oh no, Doctor, what are we gonna do? And like, ha fuck you, you weird alien. Mm. No, shut up. I'll wiggle the Sonic. Aha, ta da. I don't know. <laughs> Do the the dar darker tone I can give or take. the The problem I have with like people leaning into like dark stories is it's just so easy to get all tropey and uncreative. Oh, I'm doing this because it's yeah. dark and not actually like mean anything. What's well, better than I'm doing this? Why I don't know till next episode. But it'll be do something completely different then, and it won't be attached to anything. Uh... Yeah. I'm... Mm. I mean, there are two different kinds of bad thing. One doesn't immediately invalidate the other. Like again, we gotta talk. Do your door just open by itself? No, I hit it and uh, it opens. Like it we're, leave, totally we're leaving out ghost. like shows like The Watchmen. Oh yeah, yeah. You get shit like Watchmen, which is insanely good. Um, Preacher. Preacher, The Boys. Yeah, you. Yep. Yeah, there, there, there are a lot of good dark genre fiction shows out there, but again. They kind of have a point with how they're doing the grim dark shit, a little bit. If you just if you just go dark for darkness' sake, it just comes off as stupid. I, yeah, I had a little bit of much. sads, but also a little bit of that's probably for the best. With the showrunner saying for um, the Watchmen, he's like, "I'm out. I don't have a great idea." And for series two, and he said that on like uh, Batman on Batman, he's like, "If I don't have an idea, I'm not even gonna fuck with it," because he's surprised the minimum amount of like re it's not the fucking graphic novel and <laughs> yeah what Watch watchman got canceled specifically because he left even though like yeah. he, i i remember hearing an interview in the middle of watchman of him basically going like yeah i have this like one one and done story if someone else wants to do a season two they can do it i have my thing i want to make and i made it hbo doesn't want to do it so <laughs> yep you know, and at Watchmen that point, I made I'm... all the. F <laughs> yeah, it bombed. I want to live. What? No, Watch Watchmen got like really good ratings. Like, Dude, like it got stupid ratings. It got Game of Thrones fucking level ratings yeah. before the last series of Game of Thrones. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Season of Game of Thrones was. To put a point yeah. on that. Right. Before, <laughs> before the Targaryen went, hey. Oh, look at the time. Time to go all cray cray. Wee. The bells! The bells! <laughs> look at the Targaryen going mm. all Targaryen. Yeah. Are, are we going to do anything oh, with all those other plot points that we spent let's the go. last five years setting up? <laughs> Fuck no. <laughs> Come on. Let's see. Because people on Reddit guess them already. No. And we can't, we can't confirm people's suspicions. No, it has to be something completely different, right? Right? Mm -hmm. No, why can't you just like, oh, good job. You figured it out. Congrats. Congrats. Here's, here's how it happens. It's good. No, we got to subvert expectations. Uh, 
Like I said, darkness for darkness's sake. Oh, this is an edgy choice. Yeah, no, you see that yeah. shot of uh, what's her faces. Uh, what's she called? Uh, the one who played uh, Daenerys Targaryen. Oh, Amelia Clark. Amelia Clark. Yes, thank you. Uh, and you see the shot of her face as she lands the dragon, and she's going like her face is twitching. It's like, oh come on, really, <laughs> really. <laughs> And you know, there, there's there, there's okay. some shit in season eight that I was fine with, but like, goddamn. Let's damn see. It. Watchmen get 96 on Rotten Tomatoes, 80, 85 on Google. Yeah, I think if uh, you got like the big hate boner for the Watchmen, you're kind of like in the minority on that one. Yep. A little bit. Yeah. Hate brain, but that's okay. We can agree to disagree. I'm just. It looking. was no, a you, good you, show. Unfortunately, you know, you, it only got the one season. <laughs> you know, I'm I'm fine with it being one season. It's it's like it's like yeah, good yeah, omens, yeah. right? Like I could mm -hmm. easily watch more of it, but I mean it's over. Yeah, you could give me fucking. Sometimes you just have to step away, so not no more. Yeah, it, it's, it's more there tenant. if I want to watch it again. <laughs> yeah. Moral of the story: Watchmen kicked ass. That was some yeah, really was, good fucking TV. It was. Yep. Yeah. I, 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 <laughs> I, I, I went in with, like, very, very low expectations, and oh, holy shit. Oh, dude, I watched that first, like, <laughs> beginning of the first episode, it was like, curiosity. I was like, how are they going to cock this? And it's like, oh, my God. Yeah. Yeah, no, the, the, I went in, having seen the movie, it's like, huh, okay, all right, I'm in. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I mean, listen, man, we had, like, a lot of people, like, spent seven, five to six years hating on Game of Thrones the entire time. It's like, <laughs> it's not... Like, man, just... You gotta, like... I never watched it myself. Couldn't be asked. But that sounds like an Australian <laughs> problem. <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> Pretty much, because we don't have Netflix. So, yes, or HBO, or whatever the fuck it was on. Yeah. <laughs> I, 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 I don't know. And like, they're gonna release it for us. <laughs> so, some, some, sometime, sometimes the ending to something can, like, ruin it, and sometimes... Like, you can just sort of take it or leave it. Like, Battlestar Galactica has mm -hmm. a rotten fucking ending. It does, but mm -hmm. we've but discussed... But I can rewatch re Battlestar Galactica. You it's can. The, the last episode, I will forgive because you, I was like, you know what? You earned that fuck up. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you did. The, like, Game of Thrones is like, you didn't earn an entire series to fuck up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no. But you know what? And ending ending things hard. I was surprised Breaking Bad ended as well as it did. After the after that after the credits rolled, I'm like, you know what? Yeah. As as far as uh, that's an ending. That, yeah. That's a legitimate like. Maybe I would have went a little different, but you know what? All right. Uh, if you got to end it, there, that's a way to do it. Yep. Yeah. Same thing. Def definitely same thing with Preacher. Like that's an ending. It, it's over. It's done. Yeah. <laughs> ah, so you made it all the way to series four, Basil? Impressive. <laughs> Actually, that was season Wait. one. That's called yeah, the that joke, was the end of season one. Yeah. <laughs> Whoosh! You suck, McBain. Yeah. <laughs> oh man, there was nothing. Is there anything on currently right now worth watching? This no. is the real question. This is yeah. Now that the Mandalorian's over, I'm like, fuck. Okay, yeah. where are we at with that, man? I didn't expect that to be good, but I was like, it's pretty good. I mean, uh, in, I, all, I, 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 in all fairness, they fucking had me like the rest of humanity at the end of the first episode. I'm like, where's yeah. the? Oh, what? Okay, <laughs> yeah. All right, I'll play. I'll play Disney. Yeah. I hate you, but okay, you cheap bastards. <laughs> That's cold, man. That's <laughs> fucked up. You shouldn't do that. Oh, I'm going to keep watching, but fuck you, Disney. Um, yep, yep. Oh, man, yeah. The, Ma the, Ma the Mandalorian was very good. I quite enjoyed it. Mm -hmm. I am hyped for season two. Yeah, they went full-on video game with that one, and I'm okay with it. A little bit of depressing news earlier this week was Amazon announcing that they finish casting their Lord of the Rings series. 
Yes, I heard casting. that. Casting. Like, yeah, so we, we can uh, expect the first season like uh, early 2032? Dude, question mark, shrug emoji. <laughs> They're like, we, we figured out who's going to play the roles. I don't know about Scrubs. Right? Well, we, should, we haven't got a production crew together yet. And, uh, you know, we get, we get well, the idea. last Tolkien died recently, so they're going to have pretty much free reign. There's not going to be much influence from the So Tolkien it was kind of a Tolkien death? Pretty much. Yeah. Uh, I'm much stretching a, a little bit, but <laughs> you're stretching, but no, it was a good stretch. I don't no, know, no, man. Sometimes no, it no. does stretch. The state were mandated tokens oh, yeah. of wisdom, Tolkien's of wisdom. <laughs> no. Mm. <laughs> yeah. Anyways, I don't, yeah, I, don't I don't know. Last. Amazon Amazon's been pretty good with the original series so far. I think it'll be okay. Uh, well, a lot of people are going to give Amazon at least two passes because, like, you brought back the Expanse, brah. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> so, like, yeah. I could overlook some shit. Go ahead. But then they, they released well, The Boys. Another thing, I didn't watch that until, like, the third or fourth episode was out. And then I watched a little bit of it, and it's like, all right, fine. 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 I like this. Damn it. I'll watch it. <laughs> Oh yeah, no. They're, they're wholly unfamiliar the with the source material, but they were able to keep surprisingly close to the source material with that. Yeah. Like, well done. Like, it, yeah, it's it's the same team that did uh, Preacher, right? So it's it's gonna be. Well, Mir, you shouldn't try to do all the boys at once. I'm just saying. Patience. Oh, <laughs> yeah, maybe, no, no, you, no. You maybe oh. you maybe gotta go five at a time. Yeah. Space them out a bit, man. <laughs> yes, out. the five boys. Five dudes. Five dudes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're going to do some Rocket League in a minute, ladies and gentlemen. Yes. All righty. Peace out of here. Next week, we may have to do Trine 4. Yes. <laughs> oh, I just hope it's as glitchy as Trine 3, because that is still fucking hilarious. I don't. <laughs> that was hilarious. Oh, that episode Trine 2 was far on the floor. more glitchy than Trine 3. Oh, no, oh come on, too, the sorry. elevator level in Trine 3? Oh, I no, still no, I'm talking that. about the overall glitchiness, <laughs> the bullshit of waiting for Pedro to glitch through walls and stuff in Trine 2. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, d d d d don't speak to me of the old fucking magic witch. Um, <laughs> I was there when the Trine was glitching. We all were. We all were, Brad. <laughs> Where were you when the trine was glitching? Purple. I was the wizard. I decided it was a smart <laughs> idea to play with the controller. Yeah, you did. You know what? <laughs> they made that more workable in Trine 4 with the um, PlayStation controller. Because uh, you can use the touchpad? Uh, you don't really have to use the touchpad. Kind of optional. Hmm. Yeah, it's, it, it's been simplified a little bit. From my extensive 54 minutes, which... 38 of those was trying to get the damn thing to run correctly. Um, yes, lots of knowledge. There we go. We have game? Yeah, we do. Look at that. Mm, Sexy I'm Dominus Titanium. Dominus. 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 <laughs> Uh, then I'll play a couple games and then I'll let someone else come in my place. That sounded like you asked if you wanted to play. Yeah, I want to play, <laughs> of course. <laughs> I actually, oh. I'm going to try and play more. <laughs> I played last week, of course, when I was this, this, this time you should aim for Pedro. <laughs> <laughs> Um. Come on, game. Yes, you can load. There we go. There we go. Gotta love those load times on Rocket League. <laughs> no, it'll be better if you stick Rocket League yeah. in the back. Oh, well, <laughs> Mr. Load's already got Loading some Loading Rocket League from I'll Australia. <laughs> Dude, listen, man. We gave Mr. Load like an hour and a half, almost two hours of lead time. I knew that shit. I just wanted to see what it looked like in IRL. That's the only reason I brought that shit up. I knew it was going to happen. <laughs> But does he have the rat racer title? He's got a kitty cat teacup. <laughs> I'm a kitty cat teacup. One of those meow meow sip sip. Huge blade on his ass. It's got oh, a fox right. fox paint uh, job. I give you a refill power break. <laughs>
Then we'll run into oh it. shit! He's stealing your. Oh, he's stealing your goof, man. Okay. We have, uh, now, now he's, mis yeah, he's Mr. Fox, Fox Alert. Job. Yeah, one spot. <laughs> Mr. Fox Alert. <laughs> I've still got the kitty ears, so I'm alright. So what? You're Mr. Fox Cat. <laughs> Should I invite that? <laughs> yeah, when I play Rocket League. Until they give a fox tail, I'm gonna stay this. <laughs> I would love yeah, to uh, not duck. Wasn't it yeah. MT that went to or Linux Nuru? It was Linux Nuru that was uh, going Linux to see cats. No, no, uh, yeah. MT, and MT uh, went nuts. MT <laughs> went god. Well, uh, like, MT like, went like, immediately. Uh, don't, don't, don't. <laughs> Listen, listen. I, I, I got, I got the information I wanted. That like the, the Taylor Swift cat is apparently extra fuckable. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I needed to know. <laughs> and I'll reiterate what I said. It's like, yeah, Taylor Swift doesn't really do anything for me. Ma Mazel tov. MD would disagree with you. <laughs> yeah, clearly. <laughs> So she gave you her heart and you gave it away or something? No. Is that is that supposed to be a Taylor Swift reference? Scott, yeah, because I, I, I didn't get that. <laughs> I mean, I I, I understand. Just because he wants to bang, it doesn't mean he knows the. <laughs> but but you know what? It's it's the wrong it's the wrong crowd. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You mean never heard of the last Christmas? <laughs> it's uh, that, played everywhere. That's right, Mr. Daylight. Yeah. 2D girls can't break your heart. Because they're not real. <laughs> Tell that to the shippers. What, you, you, you ship your OC with all the uh, in-game characters? I mean, that that's that's any given Mass Effect game. They, they 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 put that in the game. They know they know what's up. I'm talking about shipping my uh, pancake van. Oh dear, you set him off. No, you set him off. You set me off. He'll just do, no, he'll just do that on his own. Cause he's weird. Yeah, but trash. now it's gonna be even more louder and. Yeah. Trash! <laughs> I like a good anime like I like a good book so a lot of the stuff doesn't appeal to me reading is hard no I mean like a lot of anime I don't care for I mean that's kind of like the point of having story. you know a bunch of sub genres <laughs> mm. like recently I just finished watching Legend of Korra and I really like that so you like kind of combat oh. ones then? Yeah. The animation is amazing in that show. It's well, okay, okay. Cause Le Le Legend of Korra and the story's good. Kinda had a budget for a couple yeah, seasons. Did. And then and then they lost it. But I mean it's it's um Brian DeSantos and Even Michael at the end, Zinko. it's still pretty good. Mm. Yeah. Season two was rough cause, but they had to crank that one out. They also did a clip show because uh Nickelodeon killed their budget. They're like, we we need a complete season. Uh, so we'll <laughs> we'll just like do a clip show so that we can have the budget required for the other episodes. Which is funny because usually the uh, recap episodes is what or clip episodes is what happens when they try to ship an episode but they can't make the air date. Yep. Yeah. But you know, I I, I enjoyed Legend of Korra for what it was. I like uh, Joaquin De Santos' fight choreography. He does a fantastic job. Oh yeah, uh, absolutely Vol wonderful. Vol Vol Voltron Legendary Defender is also choreographed by him, and that yeah, is a fucking bit that, of that, yeah. that is a, speak, speaking of endings that shit the bed. That's a fucking train wreck. Oof. <laughs> Oof. Yeah, I started watching uh. that and going, nah. Actually, here's what. Hey, I'm speaking chill. of train wrecks, oh jeez. <laughs> speaking of train wrecks, I'm watching the um. What is it? The Michael Bay Ninja Turtles last night. I actually stopped and gone. Nah, I put the original Ninja Turtles movie on. Like, I'm watching. Honestly, it. honestly, <laughs> as it was, it wasn't that bad. It really wasn't. I've watched it. it on no, the it was horrendous. The was first one bad. uh was like, all right. Uh, well, the yeah. kids will like it, right? Yep. It's good. 
the Marco Bay one was just absolutely terrible. The first one I actually enjoyed because Shredder actually looks menacing. He actually feels menacing, not just some dude. Shredder, Shredder. Uncle Phil. Yeah. I was Uncle Phil never terrified me like he should have. <laughs> Doctor Phil. Who didn't make it in? Uh, it was Pennywise. Pennywise. Yeah, sorry, man. Oh yeah, my bad. Oh, Shizen. Was on goal. Come on, Scoots. Oh. oh, shit. Wrong goal. Oh, no, right goal. Yes, I'm pink. That's right. Oh, <laughs> Good. Yellow did it. Go, Scott. Come on, Pedro. Ah, I tried to run Thank down. You. Good job, Pedro. Good job, Pedro. Thank keep you, Hard Rock Pedro. Oh, oh, I will oh, send you it. back, too, Pedro. Too low. Too low. <laughs> oh. Alan, you got this shit. Oh. All right. Yeah, I missed it. Hi, Jordan. Yeah. Hi. I was hoping to blow you up. Yeah, that it didn't work. happen. Right. Yeah. yeah. Oh. I thought Alan going that way, or uh, Mr. going that way. Scott. Yeah. Oh. yeah. Clean. Clean. Yeah. Very much clean. Yeah, that's right, Pennywise. Mr. Clean. Whoa. Oh, shit. I guess I'll get him here. Oh. Come on! Whoa, get out of here. here! Man, I'm glad I made that decision when I did. Yeah, me too. <laughs> nope. Oh, dude. Oh. <laughs> How close was I? That it looked was... pretty close, but I think I reacted a little too late. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Oh, You're inside the goal. Typical yeah. old man reactions. I know the feels. Oh, okay, I'm um, go. Near goal? No. Yeah. Alright. Fuck. fuck off, Alan. Ah! Missed! That was... <laughs> oh, it was so close, too. Oh, so angry. close, yet so far away. Couldn't be much more from the play. Yeah. Forever trust in oh, something. Oh, shy. I'm gonna trust score an all-go. We are. Nope, too low. Hi, Pedro. Oh, shit. Never cared That's right. I'm a goal camping do. bitch. Oh, oh, get out man. of here. Oh, Jordan, good save. Stop out. Stop the hat trick. out of here. Oh, you took the bait, Ow. Pedro. All right, I'm in that. Go. Go. Uh -oh. That was me who took uh -oh. the bait. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. So we're going to miss, Pedro. So we're going to miss. Oh, you're, you're, you're going for it? All right. Yeah, go for it. Boop. Yeah, I'm not. No, tempting. Tempting. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Push no, it, push no. it. Ah, uh, no on. boost. Oh. Okay. I tried. Lock. No, oh, too low. Uh. I, got, I, 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 got, I actually have to practice at those aerials. Chill out of the way, please. <laughs> no. Please, please. Get off me, Pennywise. The I've, best I've, I've, time I've, to practice Rocket League is when we're playing competitively. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> this, this is a ladder match, all right. Oh, oh damn it. Oh, on. that was so close. Oh, come on. Oh, I was gonna go off of Pennywise. Uh, nope. Wee. Uh, do, do. Thank you, Jordan. Fuck off with that. Uh, yes. Oh, Eat bad boost. luck to you. Too much tippy taps. Come on, fans out of the goal. Lies. Uh, no. Oh, I'm getting too old for this shit. Oh, yeah. There we go. Oh. Oh. Nice Pennywise. Oh. This is my headless body of Agnew impression. <laughs> this is my, right, I'm, I'm, on, I'm on net. Please, no. Please, go in the other direction. No, Scott, I don't. 
Oh, thank you, Pedro. <laughs> Whoa. That's right, just inch it away. Mm. Gotta inch it to pinch it, buddy. Inch That's it, that Oh! Yes. Come on. I don't have Damn quite it. enough boost to get it. Yes. Alright. Pedro's in that. No, he's not. <laughs> now I am. Um, has paper given nope. himself? Swing and a miss. No, I think he just died again. It's the bot ticket. Oh, fair enough. Pedro's concentrating. Mm -hmm. He's constipating. <laughs> he's a constipating, bit. concentrating. That was pointless. I don't even know what I was attempting there. I know, right? I love when that happens. Oh, 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 I mean, a thing happened. I pressed yes. buttons and, you know, things happened on the screen. Wrong way! Yes. Right way! Yay! No, Team I, Crossing! I know, I know it's <laughs> oh man, Ben nope. almost got a point. Oh! <laughs> that one's on me. <laughs> man, I missed that ball so hard I didn't even get an assist on that shit. <laughs> Mr. Alert, your planes sound like a bit fast. I shouldn't have either, but sometimes. Sometimes are in rocket yeah. cars. More like Fister Alert, am I right? Uh -huh. Oh, Pedro! Wow. Well, uh -huh. good, 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 good job. Fuck off with this. Nine. Eight. <gasps> seven. Crossing! 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 Bullshit! Oh. Fuck you all. Oh, fuck. No. I did have a hand on it. I did uh, get a hand on it. Damn it. Fuck you. Alright, I did better than them. Yeah. Oh. Uh, excuse me. Actually, actually, that was probably one of my better goal games. Yeah, you did a really good job on that, Jordan. I got a couple saves, so just yeah. gotta learn. I mean, except for the ones that you let go in. I mean, yeah, I'm getting better though. <laughs> I used to, I used to let them all in. There's there's different approaches to motivation. Yep. Prove a little every time. Aw, oh, man, Alan, you sold out. You back to the chainsaw? Aw, oh, come on. Come on, <laughs> sexual harassment and pineapple. Come on, sexual harassment pineapple. Shadow Warrior 2 is 75% off. Uh, Ooh, it's, a, it's an alright game to slog through. I'd give it, like, two chairs, yeah. having played through it. Now you play through it a couple times now? No. We we had we had a couple false starts and then we we got through all of it. Uh, I keep yeah. getting to the tech level, you know the one I'm talking about. Yeah. Then I'm like, ah, oh, fuck, fuck. It's it's just like all <laughs> over the place. It's it's real easy to get lost there. Yeah. Dude, even play by oh, yourself. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, play by yourself just fine. Nah, son, I still managed to get quite lost. Yeah. Look, when we're in multiplayer, we still got lost. Well, so here, here's, here's the other problem. Jordan has an issue with that map. I do. So do but I. He, here, here's, here's another problem I noticed with the multiplayer, especially if you're trying to follow someone, mm -hmm. is that once one of your oh, allies yes. is too close to you, like, they disappear, like, so that you can shoot through them. Pew, pew. So it, pew, it pew. gets real easy to lose people real quick because once you're sort of in that radius... If you're tightly grouped, you can't see each other. Um, okay. Okay. Dick moves. And now in. we see Dick how moves. many mutators you can cram into a game of Rocket League. <laughs> oh, and still make it playable. And still make it playable. <laughs> yeah, still make it uh, able to hit. Why do you got to go pissing on the campfire there at the end, Jordan? Because With, I don't oh, know how to use it's a... not playable. The ball won't fit in the hoop. Listen, I don't know how to use a toilet. Then you have to be you have to be patient with me. Let's see what let, let, let's see what this thing is cooking. Huh? Well, you want to? You, I, don't, I thought you were gonna put me in charge. Nope. <laughs> Picking the mutators. <laughs> Take a little trip to my twisted imagination. Oh, we got, we got Mr. Alert now. All right. All right. So you traded me for Mr. Alert. Okay. Yeah. Happens. Oh, unlimited wait, 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 boost. Wait, wait, wait. Oh. Oh. 
Oh, oh, hi. oh, oh come on. Sup? Come on, Pennywise. Oh. And giant puck. For those of you who give a giant puck. Ah. Lead hacks. Wow. Does this mean we can actually infinitely fly? Yes, we can. Yep. <laughs> Glider mode activated. <laughs> Oh, swing and a miss. Nope. Until I would have smashed into you, but that just wouldn't be very scary. Hey! 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 Out of the way. Hey! Oh, let's go. The rubbing in the back seat generating steam heat. Yes! Yeah! Yeah! Oh, man, man, bitches. Man, I stopped you for a bit. Uh, what? Good one. It runs perfectly fine in Proton. Ow! Ah, <laughs> that was pretty. We're in yeah. demolition mode. That, that. I'm the demolition man. Hi, Scott. <laughs> Scott Train is lead hacks. There! Oh, shizzle. Have fun, Jill. I didn't move. Ah. Shizzle! <laughs> shizzle! <laughs> Has Jill got into Steve's weed supply? Probably. Has she gone full Snoop Dogg now? Hey, she's using boom. that lead speak the kids use. Boom. There we go. For Sheezy. My... Nope, 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 nope. Nope. I don't know where it's going. But... Ah, there. I helped you. Oh, come on. Put it in. No. Oh, oh. Damn it, Ben. You should have been go. on goal. No. Yeah, no See, I, take, I take responsibility, fucko. Fair enough. Uh, uh, someone fisted I mean, it at the same we'll, time we'll that I fisted it. I still get dunked on because my ass wasn't in gold, but I'll admit it. I'm like, yeah. <laughs> wow. Uh, what were you doing, Michael? <laughs> Booting someone. Booting someone? How yeah, dare boot you? The yeah, boot the dude. boot. Das oh, God damn it. Gave him a little boot in the bum. Come on, come on, get there. Oh. Just a little Damn kick it. in the bump. Almost. Oh, I was a bit off. Off on my timing. Okay. There we go. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. Anyone, anyone, Look. anyone. Push it in. Yes. Oh. Yes, Mr. Alert. Damn it. You monster. You hellspawn of Satan. Oops. All right. Oh. I like the punching glove. Never used that before. <laughs> Gotta turn around. This doesn't end well. Ugh. There. I'll take that, maybe? I don't know. Possibly. There. Come on. Oh, for God's no! sake, please yeah. stop doing that. <laughs> that happened twice. I hit the thing. Ugh. That was on me. Gets me back. I need to hit the me. puck more. Jill's beating me. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> Yay! I'm doing good. Like, 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 like. <laughs> nope. Nope. It. <laughs> the cylinder oh, giveth, and the cylinder taketh away. Oh, put it in. Put it in. Put it in. My bold protection. Okay. Not so good. Stop. Boop. Hot. Honk. Honk. Dicks. All of you. Oh, Jordan. Yes, Foxy. Someone tried to punch it in, except Hi, I hit Pedro. it. Hi, Just in case you were wondering, Pedro, that was me. I did that too. I enjoyed it. That was me. I did. Oh, shit. I still can't hit. <laughs> I still can't hear him, but yeah, sure. Uh, <laughs> I don't headphones. know why. Neither can I, for that reason. <laughs> yeah, he must be mute. Like, seriously, it's nothing nothing on this end. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. He must have mu muted himself. Thank you. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Good one, Foxy. Yeah, the, you're not muted, Pedro. You're just not making noise. Yeah. No. Yeah. Shrug. Shrug emoji. Mm -hmm. Drugs. Must be. Probably. Drugs, not drugs. 
I don't mm. know. I thought Pedro was just like focused. Fuck. You know, shit gets quiet here sometimes <laughs> when we're playing this game. It's true. It does. We, 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 or, you might... or I know what it is. Pedro's just fucking with me. He wants me to fuck around with the audio stuff instead of play. <laughs> I'm... Come on. No, wrong no. Way. Oh. <laughs> Scott. Oh, God damn. You got it, That's Scott. It. No, no, Scott. No. Yes. No, Judas. Judas. <laughs> what? That was beautiful. I died. That was off so you, Scott. All no, according to Keikaku. <laughs> All according to Keikaku. <laughs> <laughs> That was a bukkake. Bukkake. Roses are red. Boop. Bullets are blue. Omaiwa shinderu. Shake and bake. No. Nope. Come on. Come on. Come on. Give, give us a nice bullshit goal. Go oh, <laughs> Overtime. Oh it's it's so Grover time. Okay. Grover time, baby. We need Grover time. Gooba. Oh. Gooba time. No, uh, no, 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 no. No, no, it's too much. Oh. Damn it. Too much sauce. I deserve Not enough boss. this. Come on, Alan. Come on, come on, come on. spicy bullshit. Fuck, oh. duck. Hi, Sacrifice <laughs> to the spicy bullshit hey. gods. You know... That was an accident, but I'm, I'm going to talk some shit. Blew your ass off. Uh. <laughs> Why not? Come on. Ow. Oh, oh, someone, anyone, anyone, come on, push it in. Uh. Uh, all right. Listen, Shut man, up. I hit Anyways, blew me up. All right. Fuck. I guess I'm going back oh, in that. Back in that. No. Come on, bullshit gods. Come on, bullshit gods. Something happened there. <laughs> something happened. Much of something. Oh, no, no, Just no, give no, me no, the no, fucking no. boot oh, again, Scott, really. Oh, Scott, 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 Scott. Oh. Oh, thank you, Scott. Thank you, Scott. Take another right. little piece of my heart now, baby. Just take oh. it. Take, take another it. little chunk of my lung now, baby. <laughs> oh, someone, please. Yes, uh, oh, there's too oh, much okay, right no, there. That was... Yeah, that... Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, baby. Oops. Hey. 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 You knocked it out of hey. my way, man. Listen, man. Scott, come on. Oh. Hey, yo, on. hey, yo. Good Canadian, good it's... Canadian. Oh, no such no. thing. <laughs> Quit spreading rumors. <laughs> the only good Canadian is a dead Canadian. A thawed Canadian is a good Canadian. <laughs> oh, come on! Ah. RNG. Oh, come on. These puck physics oh. are not very realistic, Shit, guys. The they really, they really aren't. Dancing on the ah. ceiling. Damn it! No! Just oh. go in! Oh. Nine! <laughs> Nine! <laughs> go! That way! Oh. 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 Do this! Oh. No. <laughs> This is what you have to look forward to when you get old, kids. Never, non-stop Rocket League, forever, <laughs> and then the, you die, oh, okay. and then the you home. just die. Ten hours a day at the home. Then you have. Can you just you put get, me back in the sweatshop, please? Nope. nope. Ten hours of this, then you get a break for pudding. I'm... What Maybe kind a of pudding? Change. What kind of pudding? Piggy pudding. Yep. Oh, no. Hey, throw! Scheiße. Duh. Ow. Welcome Ow. back to Ow. nine hours of overtime, cast. Ow. No! So please, no. please end it. Never. No. Nine. Stop. Scott. He's already okay, dead. Dutch. Oh, come on, come on, come on. Push it, push it. Come push on, buds. Cross it, cross it. Well. Ah, oh, goddamn it. Too high. I got it, folks. Eh. You got it? Yep. Yeah, you don't. Yeah, do. I just didn't do shit with it. I said I had it. I made contact with that puck. <laughs> don't fault me. I didn't expect.
bound them. Hi. Oh, hold on. Boops. There we go. Right direction and this. Come on, just push we it in. We will confuse push it in. Push our it way in. into the goal. Push it in. Oh. Uh, I'll be over here on the ceiling. If you need me. Hi. Oh, Good thing to you. <laughs> Alan, it's about time you realize drop in, drop in, I'm a fucking drop in. gangster. Um. <laughs> and all the ladies say I'm pretty fly for a Rocket League. That works. I'll take it. Huh. Oops. Haha. <laughs> Still made. Damn it, Ellen. With your... No, 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 no one no, on no, go. No, 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 no. Oh, Jill. <laughs> oh, oh, sorry, my no. bad. <laughs> All right, that 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 went far enough. There we go. I kicks kick somebody. I feel better. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> nope. 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 No. Sorry, Scott. Come on. <laughs> <All right. laughs> there we go. Come on. Come on. Oh, come no, on. No. 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 Directly in front of the goal, that I'll take that as a win. <laughs> come on, come on, come on. Oh, come on. Oh, did I kick Scott into the puck? That was great. <laughs> come on, come on. I... <sighs> the fuck out of here, Pennywise. Oh, God. Leave my house. I didn't invite Ooh. you. Damn it. I've defaulted into driving around the puck mode. There we go. Ah. Yeah. <laughs> we'll get here eventually, folks. I mean, there's a lot of puck to drive around. Is kind of my point. This is. <laughs> no, no. Give me this one. Yeah. 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 Uh, I couldn't yes. get to it in time. Stop. I think it was up to was it like 13 minutes? Wow. Ten minutes. Yeah, I think it was up ten minutes. It was over ten yeah. minutes. It was, yeah, it was, it was well over 10, 10, 10 or 11 <laughs> minutes. Oh. Yay! I touched it a lot. I was really working at it. Feel free to clip that up. I touched it a lot. <laughs> well, I did, be I did better than Pennywise. Oh, yeah, if I had gotten one that. assist, I would have gotten well, one in every column. Well, it does help. I have... I have two controllers now that fit my hand, and right now I'm using. The oh, I thought I thought you were playing one with that... one controller in each hand. Gold my N64 way. Yeah, so I'm playing with the Game Sire one that Pedro got me, and it's it's uh, my hands like it a lot. <laughs> Anyone remember my that the old uh, two controller uh, <laughs> control schemes? <laughs> And then I also have my 8-bit do, which I was using last week, but this week I'm using the game sire. Oh well, yeah, there was a uh, two controller control scheme for a uh, Star Wars it. Episode One racer. Yeah, then or oh code yeah, because like in in the oh, movie yeah, he's yeah. got the two N64 controllers on the pod racer too. You should try spinning. <laughs> That's a good trick. Hey, go and I had it though. You know what? I actually like games uh, that like. Metal, Metal Gear Solid had that where you had to like change your controller to the default from the default controller port mm -hmm. to beat a boss because otherwise yeah. you would just predict all your moves. Ooh. Yeah, Soccer Mantis. Yeah. yeah. I, I, I like shit like that. It, it's clever. It's cute. Yeah, quite clever. There's many clever little things in that game. I see you like playing Castlevania. <laughs> <laughs> the fucking... There's also the uh, Doki Doki he, he, he... Uh, Literature Club. <laughs> Where in order to beat the uh, the boss, you actually have to go in and de uh, delete her character file. <laughs> There's a lot of things that that does in that sense. Things. There's a, a like game even... out there that um. There's a game out there that will delete your files. Ooh. Like I, I, I think uh, your files show up in the game as enemies. And 
shoot them around and they get deleted or something. Mm-hmm. I know if you if you played uh, Pool of Radiance Ruins of Mythic Draenor, there was a bug in it that would accidentally just format your drive. See? <laughs> <laughs> I gotta be 100% though. Just think about it. How much more serious would it be when the game starts up and it's like, enter your root password? Yeah, Russian roulette. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, yeah, that, that that would give uh, Hellblade Senwa sacrifice some teeth. Enter your root password. We're just gonna if Senwa dies, we delete all your files. Yeah. The next generation. Uh, of I think likes. I hear a Pedro. Yeah. Well, we know the sound is working on that box because yeah. we're hearing yeah. the whoop whoop. So yeah, it's yeah, not on this end. It's the womp womp. Oh, the womp. The womp womp. Okay, now that Jitsi's done. His there thing, he is. Yeah. Boo! We were getting that Boo! a lot Bring back the other Pedro. Pedro. Boo! <laughs> Mayo oh, girl, no. It is not. It was a, you cannot buy it anymore anywhere. What? The Deadpool gun. Deadpool. Oh, yeah. That is like the actual one legitimate use for like G2A. <laughs> Games that are no longer on. You can't stores. buy it anywhere else anymore. Right. You can't buy it. Like I always I keep an eye for out the for the um, Transformer beat 'em up game from Platinum that they pulled. Mm-hmm. I want to get a copy they of that. They did that? Oh shit! Yeah, that thing's pulled. Oh. It's still available on they consoles. It. Oh, consoles. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Uh, Transformers <laughs> Devastation. Yes. Yeah, the platinum one. <laughs> yeah, devastation. Okay, cool. Devastation. No. Mm-hmm. All right, ladies and gentlemen. There he is. There's the pineapple. Sexual harassment. Yeah. Pineapple. Devastation. <laughs> devastation. <laughs> oh. Devastation. Devastation. Oh, 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 oh. Devastation. All of a sudden, de- devastation's French. <laughs> Apparently, me and Jordan Jordan. are on the same team the whole night. Good luck. (laughs) It's been fun detonating you two. Uh, (laughs) Okay, so what have we got? uh, Canada, Portugal alliance. Off to a good start. Missed the ball. (laughs) Got detonated. (laughs) Well, now Jill's (laughs) desire to destroy me seems to come in handy. No, it touched the floor on that side. (laughs) Come on. It touched the floor again. The floor is awesome. The floor floor. is lava. Yes. Touch all the floor on this side, please. More floor. That's a whole ANTM. I mean, I might as well turn it's on the demo contact oh. mutator. Oh, shit. I deserve it. Oh. Damn it. <clears throat> that did a thing. It did a thing. Oh. Fuck you. Did a thing? Yes. No, Devastation. Wait, Devastation. Yeah. Yeah. I cannot. I'm just going to oh, 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 <sighs> On behalf of Linux Gamecast LLP, I would like to apologize. <laughs> Ooh, strong language. Strong language. <laughs> do, you, do you really strong want to apologize to the French, Ben? Not really, but hey, man, you know. <laughs> I do what's necessary, not what I like. When it, when in, when in oh. France. Yes. Uh, when in France. Apologize to the French. <laughs> I'll stab you with a baguette. <laughs> le poisson, le poisson. <laughs> hey man, you can get a Canadian to eat a baguette if you put enough like gravy on it. I'll, I'll eat a baguette. Baguettes and gravy, and gravy oh. you know, traditional. Um, it's like go well, and add some chips and gravy. Go, go, go and add some the lightning. The There's rain. gonna oh, yeah. I'll come over here now. Hi. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Good job, Pedro. Okay. Nice, Pedro. <laughs> one I didn't to see because I was in the process of being exploded, but. <laughs> <laughs> As one does. As one does. <laughs> oh. <laughs> but my lawyer assures me that it was quite good. 
<laughs> Damn <Yeah>. you! Physics, <laughs> be damned! Whoop. Hit the floor, yes! <laughs> Not that floor! Yep. Best floor. <laughs> Not this floor! Not oh, this floor! Come on. More of that floor! <laughs> okay, whoever hit me, thank you! That's Chill! <laughs> Jill's doing her part. She is. She really is. Yeah, no, no, I, I, got, I got my butt booted. I got my booty booted. Oh, yeah. Booty, 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 booty. booty. <laughs> Let it oh, hit. Where am I going? Oh, goddamn jokes on you. Let the bodies hit the floor. Let the bodies hit the floor. Let the bodies hit the fucking floor. <laughs> no. No, 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 keep, no, no. Keep, keep more of that, yes. <laughs> No! Fuck off! No! 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 Yeah, I probably deserve that. Whatever you can that fuck was. Fuck off! Ow! Hi, Jill. Had that one coming. Ah! How about that? Uh, no! No! <laughs> no! Yes! 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 yes. Get out of my way! Oh! Give me some points, baby. No. Ah. Man, I've like drilled that ball four times and it's perfectly landed in the corner all four fucking times. <laughs> ah, I mean, just smooth, like I couldn't have done it with a loaded banana on my head. Ow! Oh, mm. Shit! Oh. Le yeah. grenouille yeah. mange le pomplemousse. Yes, yeah, good! Yes, yeah, good! <laughs> ah, the pomplemousse. Thanks, Jill. The moose is full of pomplemousse. Yeah. It's the pompadour moose. The moose is on fire. We don't need no water. Australian moose. <laughs> what the motherfucker. <laughs> yes. <laughs> no. Too short. This is gravity. This Can is I 10, please times hit this gravity. fucking... Oh! Thank you. Oh. Oh, game, fuck you. God damn it. <laughs> damn, oh. damn it, Bobby. Take it, Bobby. Oh, yeah. Big hole, big hole, big hole. Big ol', big ol', come on, Bobby! Oh, bigger hole, Bobby! <laughs> Listen, Run man. free, no! If you want to have a good old-fashioned hole off... There, oh, oh, come on! on. <laughs> Who did that? Ha-ha! <laughs> 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 I'm going through some propane right now. <laughs> propane? <I'm> lapsing. <laughs> Any propane oh, accessories? Come on, come on. Oh shit, no, no, I thought that was a hole. Oh, uh, back, so, yes. No, More that's a hole. No, no. <laughs> I feel so man. constipated. Points number three. Yes. Hit the, 30 seconds hit of more points thing. for old man Vin. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck off. No. Uh, he's back again. Ow. Ow. No, 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 no. He's back and he's got a new trick. Magical Trevor is dead. Whoa, 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 whoa. That's, that's uncalled for you. There we go. Back on that side. Yeah. Oh. I just want to make a note that I wrecked Pennywise going in reverse. <laughs> oh. Giggity. Three people going that's in all reverse. I'm saying. <laughs> that got stolen out from under my nose. I hate you. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, one Bigger more go. Come on. It's magical Trevor. Everyone say a trick his leather. Look at him there. With his leathery, leathery lip. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> How not bad did I do, game? How not bad? Yay! Yay! I love the best score on my team. How the fuck? Ow! Nice jail. <laughs> Yay! Eleven, <laughs> 11 demolitions there, Joe. You had 11. You brought 11. I haven't played this game in two weeks. How the hell did I get the best score? <laughs> <laughs> would, you, would you rather that I get the best score? <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> it, it... <laughs> We're playing to have fun. <sighs> Clear, clearly you do, because you brought it up. Good job, Schwoopsie. <laughs> I'll be sure to bring that up next uh, time you uh, come on, bring Jordan. Up the he's trying to catch up to you. <laughs> I mean, I mean, he's got to suck really, really you got hard. A long if he wants road to, suck to like go, me. Pedro. Yeah, <laughs> you, you got to get down on both knees. <laughs> suck.
and not blow everyone's ears. Oh, oh up too bad. I, I thought know. you were going to finish that sentence very differently. Ah, uh, you always <laughs> do, but I never do. Oh, yay, Vince! Yeah, I got better. <laughs> I don't know. I, I just got done listening to your fucking teammates, and they disagree. Um, you blew me up a lot, Jill. Oh, I'm just trying to hit the ball. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, we always encourage Sorry, you Pedro. to practice. Test in production. But, yes, yes. Like you guys used to years ago when you were learning it. Oh. Like we're not learning anymore. No, listen, man. <laughs> Jill's decided that she's going to learn with a five-year lag. Yes. <laughs> okay. No, I need to. No, no. I need to. Yeah. Beautiful people, we want to thank you for um, tuning in and joining us on this four-hour rock block of madness and nonsense. We want to thank the beautiful Canadian Jordan Sveng. I'm so pretty. For being... Jordan for participating and Pedro Mateus back from the dead. Hi, I'm back. <laughs> he's just he's just like the emperor, <laughs> played by Ian McDermott. <laughs> Thankfully, I haven't been you know um, hey, creating bro. progeny <laughs> left and right. Portuguese Senate rapper <laughs> fucking Zen, baby. He is the Senate. <laughs> I am the Senate. Yes. This is confusing. Hey, and everybody that joined us live hanging out in a Discord. Uh, the video version is going to go away. We got Foxy, Mir, Mr. Alert, Pennywise, and of course, our other Canadian, Scott. Because we collect them. If we get four, oh. we get a bite sized Snickers. <laughs> you get a bite sized poutine. <laughs> hmm, poutine Snickers. Bite sized uh, coffee crisp. <laughs> coffee crisp. Okay. Uh, Bye bye, live stream viewers. We'll hang out in Discord, and uh, the, if you're watching the uncut, you'll get some of that sweetness. Yo, Dynavire. Bye. Peace. Right, Laura. Run, Laura. Run. Love you. Bye. Run away from that boulder. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>